Welcome back, everybody. Um, sorry about that. I made a horrible mistake. Um, I put powdered peanut butter in Soylent, and it's just not a good idea. So. Yeah, but is it green? No. No, it's uh, not green. Mm. It's All right, green. then it's, it's not It's actually people. just blindedly white because of camera lights. Kind of brownish. That's fine. Uh, I got Soylent 1.4 and 1.5 sitting around waiting to get used. Yeah. 2.0 is really good. They've anyway. changed a lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. Okay. Anyways, this isn't brought. This is this. This stream is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. All right. Let's go ahead and um, keep going. So we our resources tests are done, which is good. So now we're not going to die, or be in trouble with the law, or the, with the tax men's. None of those are likely at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right well so we have that. a couple things we need to do mason i know we got to do a couple things specifically you need to meet um the queen's new friend oh jesus christ no diabloist i mean i'm looking forward to making his acquaintance but dear almighty i hope i can make him my friend before the queen does that horrible lady the diabloist is like actually i'm a great master i'm here to teach you i heard that yeah. you're, you're in need well it's a different order but yeah I will still absolutely take his help if he's offering. Is it Mason literally the last member of their order? It's not like you're going to find someone else to teach them. Unless so the, the thing is, is a ghost! Well, you say that, but yes, that is a thing that could happen. Um, yeah. Now, what I would like to do ideally, I don't know, like, is it the following well, day he's here and then we get to talk to him or? Mm, yeah, probably. And Sweet. I think the big joke of this is that uh, you meet. I think I think you're summoned to him, and in, in a in a he already kind of has his own place set up now. And of hmm. course, there's a cadaver on the table, so you could say death is on the table. Ah, <laughs> delightful. I, I like that. I should also add, just for the for the benefit of the viewing audience, uh, over the course of the last month, I started researching a new spell. Yes, um, Falcon's Wings. Okay, so um, I think you're going to meet him. You're you're summoned to go into some basement corridors that you um probably have seen on the map, but you haven't been to yet. Maybe you have, and um, boy, it's kind of like an old um, like, yeah, surgery surgeon um style setup. Um, it's in it's in a different tower. It's like below a different tower, maybe. And, um, in the East Tower. Yeah, right. And it's in the East Tower. Um, the door is open already, and you hear a man humming a opera. Like, I think he's like singing an opera, like while he like and as you you like you hear that and you're following that down these stairs, and you see you hear a man singing a a chelish opera. Um, and but he has a very 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 nice voice. Delightful. And, um. As he is um, vivid, uh, dissecting um, this this body. All right, I want to no, just preface. Like, he's like looking at different pieces and putting them like kidneys and stuff. Nice. Seems like a, a swell fella. Uh, I want to preface this by saying that uh, I have drawn on the fact that I am in command of Swan's army uh, because I. I mean, I like the fact that I will get to speak with another practitioner of the art, and I'm super stoked for that. Like, Mason is all about that. Mm -hmm. But also, like, the fact that it's a person who has been sent from Cheliax on the Queen's uh, requests for, uh, and her secret motives, of course, being devil binding. She's sent for a wizard, probably in the hopes that he will help me do infernalism. And just to be on the safe side, because I don't know what to expect going in, uh, Mason has like uh, four uh, four skilled swordsmen with her uh, as as she uh, arrives, but leaves them at a, a respectable distance. Right? It's not like I'm gonna make you look at these men I brought. No, fuck that. They're waiting outside. Um, but yeah, I got a a group of mercs with me. Wow. Um. So he probably stops singing when he notices you. Yeah, I, but, um, I knock on the door and I, hello. Yeah, and uh, don't don't stop on my account. That was lovely. Who am I looking at? 
So, um, I imagine a Pierce Brosnan looking fellow, um, pretty much wearing a very functional, uh, tunic and thing. So, like, it, it looks, obviously, it's made of, like, nice black silk and stuff like that, but it's kind of like a, like a Henley, right? Like, it's very, like, it's kind of, like, loose, but also kind of, like, form-fitting, so he's, like, movable. Um, also, uh, above that is a smock that he's wearing on, on top of that, or an apron, um, that's tied around. You know, there's some, like, various tools and, and, uh, implements around. Uh, you can see that he's using, um... So rather, rather, I think you've seen a couple of these sets before, uh, in terms of like alchemical sets. However, he's obviously brought his own for this, um, hmm. and you can see that there's, there's, it's all made of like black glass, um, like it has like a like a darkish tint to it. Hmm. I see. Um, like it, just, it has the um, classic. Uh, so for so for me, when I think of Chiliacs, I think of like dark Renaissance Italy. So it has yeah. a lot of. Um, that sort of like floral or like regal like almost like satanic it is absolutely this is a satanic renaissance is really yeah it is. is uh so it has a lot of like um depictions uh, uh and like engravings of like wailing and punishment on on the uh on the um the gold trims of these of these black and and, and these black and glass and gold uh embroidered, awesome. um embossed i'm sorry not embroidered embossed um equipment and stuff it's very 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 nice yeah mason is absolutely yeah. fascinated and, with um, it i think i stand mouth open like, looking at it and i'm so fixated on it that yeah. when i tear my gaze away from it it's the first time i notice the corpse on the table yeah and i'm like oh god that's gross oh oh, oh that's yeah um boy didn't you just haul the raven through midnight yeah i did that's not nice either I didn't um, feel good about that, as you might have noticed. <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, oh, uh, uh, Abadas hairy knuckles. That is the worst thing I've. Uh. He wants. He's looking at like he wanted to say something real quick, but then you see that. Can you recognize other people's second sights? Uh, can I? Second sight is a trait, so if I stared at him and tried to identify his traits, I probably oh, could. Well, there's something about you that he goes like, oh. He's, you know, he's like he's starting to say something, and then he's like, does the, the you know, <laughs> I think we've described it as the sight yeah. beyond sight. <laughs> yeah, and um, <laughs> it's time to duel, and an eye appear on his forehead. Well, I think, I think for him, I think for him, what it is instead of doing the Professor X thing, I think he mm -hmm. actually has like um those varying appraisal lenses, right? Cool. And so he like brings he brings a couple down, and he's like, huh, and then he like brings out an astrolab. Right. Or not Astro Lab, uh, a compass, but um and he's like he holds it out and he's like Yep. And puts it back like a pocket watch, like a pocket compass. Checking your power level. Uh yeah. he's he's got it determined. <laughs> I feel I feel Mason ah. feels two ways Mason feels two ways Gifted. about that. Yeah. Hey, there's a person attached to this sorcery, I'll have you know. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really Yeah, it's oh, I, I... oh the gifted. Oh come in. Yeah. Sure, I I don't do that. I'm just playing. Yeah. He, so uh, yeah, he's, he he's like taking off his his gloves and stuff, and he's like, I apologize for the mess and the, the look. I wasn't um. It's you know how it is. It's hard to. I set this up so so uh so long ago and our meeting and you know I just I can't get enough. This has just been a real. Uh, can you help me here? Actually, he's like rambling. Um, he has an anatomy question, essentially being like, "Do you see how this person has this extra gallbladder?" And he, like starts talking about the ana like the anatomy of this guy, and being like, "Have you yeah. ever seen something like this?" So he's like, "Have you ever seen something about this?" My reaction is like, "Oh, no, no, yeah, now I have, but I wish I hadn't." Ugh. Yeah, it's like it's like a cancerous gallbladder or something like that, or like a like a gallstone in the shape of something. It's actually yeah. a gallstone in the shape of something. Like, does this does this look like a root to you? Does this look like does this look like a um uh what's the name of the um the forest nature god? Um, um the green Aerosteel? spirit. Uh oh the green the green spirit, um uh, Gosra? Yeah, Gosra. Does this does this look like a Gosra rune to you? Uh and he's like it looks like it's like it's like tenth century uh Gosra. Um you know, he like starts to cite, like just obscure natural uh history of this um it's like this is 
I swear, you find the weirdest things in people sometimes, and he like puts it I, into a bowl. Sure, I let him be ghoulish and gross for as long as he needs to. Um, and once he's done, um, once he's done, Fair. Mason does something that we've not we've not seen them do before. Uh, Mason addresses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, it's like rip his heart out, and I eat it and absorb his being. Um, no, I I address him with uh, with what counts as proper respect for Mason, like actual respect, uh, which is I think a very slow and elaborate bow, like um like a, a monk thing, right? Like a folding of hands and uh, and a, like an actual like bowing to appear. Yeah. Um. Uh, in a form of like uh, formalized greeting. Yeah, he's he's kind of. He kind of doesn't like it when you do that. He actually is giving you feedback. He's like, dude, don't, don't. Come on, come on, stand, stand up. Mm. Don't. I'm you sorry. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I didn't mean please. to make you uncomfortable. Um, no, it's. It's just been so incredibly long since I've. Well, <laughs> I, you probably know already. Yeah. You can call me. Uh, he puts his hand out to shake. He took off his gloves and stuff. It's it's sanitary and everything. He's just says, you know. Mm. Boba. Boba? My pleasure. I'm Mason. It's from, Mason. of course, the Good Royal name. Chilexian House of Fett. <laughs> mm. No, it's just his name's <laughs> Boris, but he goes by Boba. Like, a, it's a kid nickname. Um, this just stuck with it. Um, mm. So, well, um, I, can, I, I can see that you are... Um, do you have any markings that give you that you are a... Um, like Harkin is is was your master and such? No. Okay. I uh, I I very explicitly typically dressed like a vagrant. <laughs> um. Well, I, I guess a a wanderer. True, but I want to know if there's something about your training that is there is there something that belies your training and what your order is that mm. you could, he could identify. There actually might be, and I think it's not even something Mason is aware of. Right. Um, That's what I'm thinking too. Yeah. Ma uh, Mason is wearing a uh, Mason is wearing a, a wood pendant they carved themselves on request of their master when they were younger. Uh, it's a pendant of a sleeping dragon that's like coiled together in a spiral. Um, they wear that on a thong around their neck, and they just think of it as like this thing they hold very uh, very dear. But that might actually be a symbol of their master. Yeah. Oh, you are you studied? I see you studied under um, Harkin. Many. I squint. How do you know that? Oh, the the coiled uh, serpent is is um was his preferred thing in in undergrad, uh you know or, or like in the re in in various uh books. I read I read a few of his things. He's he's a really smart guy. I didn't even know he wrote books beside the one I have. Oh, you you have a a copy of his um natural physi physiographic. I immediately like Mason immediately of, of bites the shapes of, of reality volume. I bite my tongue. I bite my tongue at that point. I'm like, shit, I shouldn't have said that. And I'm like, yes, but oh, it's, it's it's mine. It's okay. Look. Um The Queen told me uh, he's he's gonna level with you. He's like, the Queen told me about um that you know, you had some I had someone here helping already. And look, yeah, I'm he, he has an Italian accent, okay? I'm mm, I can't yeah. do an Italian accent, right? Scusi. Yeah, Miscuizzi. Um The queen told me that uh, I'd be having a partner, and I assume that's you. I've not, oh, I haven't met a half single other person um, <laughs> with the gift here. Half true. Um, the queen did send for you on what pretense? Oh, she wants to speak to a devil. All right, so at least she was honest about it. Well, yes. I don't know that you're familiar with this. Um, infernalism not as well received here as in more open minded countries uh, he puts his head down like okay um, I get it you don't want to be a part of this that's cool uh, <laughs> you misunderstand me this. you misunderstand me Bobo I was merely telling you about the culture I would love to learn what you have to teach. Uh, are you lying? No. Okay. I would love to learn what he has to teach. Yeah. 
he he looks you up and down, right? Like he's really scrutinizing you, mm-hmm. um, trying to analyze you, seeing where you're coming from when you say that. I look like an apprentice who's been forced to carry a great weight all their life and was had just about enough of the world shitting on them for it. What does yeah. that look like exactly? Uh, it looks like a person who is who is one bad day away from lighting fire to the capital of this city. Uh, sorry, the capital of this country. Mm-hmm. Um. It's not true, but it's we're there, right? I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm in a, I'm in a way uh, meeting this guy. Like, I didn't think that when I would meet a guy who would lift the burden that I've been carrying off my shoulder, it would be a devil summoner. But on the other hand, fuck it. I don't care. The fact that I can just share this burden with literally anyone is a huge weight of mission shoulders. Yeah. You're you're definitely carrying a um You're carrying a a, a burden and he can see that, right? Yeah. And says, uh, you know what? I like you. Let's see what we can do. Let's get to work. And um I think we're gonna save there. Or no, let's just, let's do a test. Let's do let's do a test about this because I think this this ties into um your third belief, the Thusian stars. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Let's see what you can do. Um, right. And so he starts talking a little bit about. Um, so we're not gonna be summoning anything here just yet. Uh, I just want your help setting up a um, and he describes some sort of like ritual setup, right? Uh, so if something like, uh, how, how is, I imagine spells are built on kind of like the magicians in terms of like different, uh, plays or like different structures and then get the shapes get built into other shapes which form spells sometimes. Uh, that, that might be the case. Um, yeah. That's probably like it's, it's component based, right? It has, yeah. um, there are like aspects of, uh, of the ethereal then comprise all of reality. Yeah. And so. Especially like yeah. ritual like things. So like not like summoning so like this terms of rituals and things like that have very specific like diagramic components that are broken down into subsections. And so he wants you to like to make a um pretty like standard routine uh basic subsection of something. So I think that is I think that is ritual. Right? I'll take it. Rituals I think rituals is for conducting actual oh, religious actual ceremonies. Ceremonies. Maybe what uh, you're thinking of is symbolism. Yeah. Also, uh, symbols. I think it's yeah. Called. I think it is symbols. Then I'm sorry, I got it mixed up. No, it's fine. Symbology is the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, just just top right. one symbology. Okay. Uh, I uh, I let's say like yeah yeah I could do that. No problem. Hmm. However, tit for tat, I guess. I mean, let's get the let's get this relationship going right away. You're not going to be t- teaching me summoning today, but I expect that you will. I am here to learn from you, whatever you have to teach, both in the ways of life and so on. But from you, I would ask that you teach me the principles of summoning and the discipline of uh, creating the way gates and the prison diagrams that I know your people are so very adept at. He smirks and... um... Well, I was hired to foster a communication between the queen and the devil, not to take on an apprentice. Consider, Tit for tat. Yeah. I'm still not sure what you offer me in return. Aren't you? Maybe that will become evident to, the wary, to the wary observer. Let's see how good you make these diagrams before we get any further. Swinging up one. Boop. With one to spare. I spent that extra success on a flourish. I uh, I make the diagrams better than he expected. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Um, so you do know a thing or two about, um, you know, like Zargoni's uh, triangular you know try zagoni's prismatic form you know hypotenuse or something like that right and um just that kind of arcano bobble please um, i've been mastering the seven pentacles since i was 14 hmm. 
he's you can tell that he's the way you handle this stuff is a um he's trying to figure out what he can actually teach you furthermore he's teaching whether or not it's worth your worth his time to teach you and says okay since 14 all right then show me what you can do and i think this is actually a graduated test all right a graduated this, test yeah. of sorcery this is this is so the intention so like i i feel like this this graduated test will help indicate his level of um willingness to actually teach you things like basically are you your competency as a student you know like where where you're at in terms of technical proficiency uh to him all right i know exactly what i'm gonna do to do that i uh, i've just been drawing this symbol on the ground so mm -hmm. this this symbol is the whatever the hypotenuse which is part of the seven pentacles which is a diagram that draws into the uh, into the ley lines of the um of the subplane and uh, standing on it is the perfect conduit for like for for simple but clear demonstrational magic and for drawing on the principles of sorcery. So I uh, I do that. I'm like, sure, I'll play your game, right? And I look at him as though, like, I need him, I need this guy to understand right now that when I do this, it's not because he said jump and I responded with too high. It's because he knows I want something from him. And this is me proving that I have what it takes to get it out of him. Exactly. Um, exactly. That's what I want this from this. Yeah. So I stand in the diagram, and as I do so, I start um, I start moving my hands, which is not something I do when I spell cast, but I still move my hands to to uh, assist my spell casting. As I whisper uh, in in the uh, lost language of the uh, of the elder world, and as I do so, I I draw into existence these like flickering lights uh, that start appearing as if like the smoky wisps at the edge of my fingertips. And they move through the air with a very deliberate, uh, with a very deliberate pattern, tracing rays of light through the uh, through the air as I move my hands, creating layers of layers of runic circles that seem to interlock like pieces of a clockwork. As I draw in all the aspects of sorcery in a kind of general demonstration of skill and mastery, um, wow! To show like the the levels of complexity that I can touch on, although my my the actual number of spells I know are limited, I show him the level Potential. of understanding I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Foundational principle under. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what I do. So I'm rolling sorcery. I am forking symbology. I am forking. Um, I am forking secrets wise. I am forking. Uh, research because this is based on the diagrams that I um, based on the diagrams that I uh, described in the tower when we talked about that, and so this is me like using that knowledge. Actually, that's not forking research; that is me arguing for fictional for fictional advantage. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I am absolutely using great masters wise because I'm drawing on the uh, on the theorems of those who came before me, mm -hmm. and I'm using uh, astrology. Of course. So I take that for four modifier, and I take my time doing this because this is a demonstration. Yeah, we have time, so yep. let's do it. One success. <laughs> that is the thing that could happen. Oh, six successes. Uh, you Crushed. One, you have one fate if you wanted to do more. Uh, yeah, it's already open-ended, but I'm still going to spend the fate. Beautiful. There we go. You Seven. Have one you can reroll. Uh, I don't have. You don't reroll once. You just reroll traitors. Okay. Mm, okay. So technically, for an ob seven symbology, that would be up to unknown religious symbols. So you have obscure, arcane, and unknown religious symbols. So you are clearly, um, clearly really good. <laughs> Ah, uh, to say the least, he is yep. mightily impressed. Uh, but this is this has taken up some time, right? Absolutely doing that, and um, I think he, you know, he's like not bad kid. You maybe use five percent of my power. No, um, <laughs> he puts his hand um, like on your shoulder and like, I can work with you. You are, you are like look at this. So this is this is good work. And he like starts he, he praises your work in 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 a, in a way like this is really good work. Um, I I, I try to be dignified about it. It's very hard. And I was like, <laughs> 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 and 
thank you. Let's get some food. And um, he says to you, do you like strategy games? And uh, <laughs> as you guys walk off to get food. Crossfade. Yeah. Eric's like, all right, listen, we need to give Catarize a ship. All right? Here we go. So, yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, seems like it. It's a rumor that you have to be an asshole to I mean, summon devils. With, yeah, he deals with devils, but like he's a nice guy. It's a gig. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, that's a thing. Absolutely. Um Yeah. Yeah. Let's do let's do some stuff with AP. Mm -hmm. So AP, I know. Have you ever heard of StarCraft? <laughs> so, um AP It's an let's... elven game. It is an old elven game. Uh, oh, it's nice I think it's time to talk to the king. Maybe it's time to it's time to get that court approval. Region. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go talk to Noleski. Does Noleski? Noleski probably does he know that you were injured? Does he care? Probably doesn't care. I feel like I made a very big deal out of the fact that I was injured. I mean, I I literally have an army oh, of that's... court bards. Oh, of spreading... course he has to hear about it. Yeah, um, more importantly, it's all about how I'm offering clemency to any of the Ravens. Tr like, they're all been declared heretics. We didn't really get to this, but I declared them all heretics uh, yeah. to be killed in the street unless they threw themselves on the mercy of the church and reform. I yeah, that's actually a pretty big deal. Yeah, that sounds like yeah. maybe we should investigate. Because a your, bit of that. your church does not wield secular power, so calling for the murder of citizens is a pretty big deal. I mean, they're not citizens. They're all foreign mercenaries that fall. They're, they're <laughs> Mivanese. You're calling for the deaths of people, which I think the king might have a thing or two to talk I'm, to you Okay. About. Yeah. Let's talk about it with the king. Sure. Yeah. So, so, AP, I have a question for you. Yep. At, w and am I there? Have you called me there? Because nope. Noleski doesn't like me, and I would love to be in that scene. Uh... I mean, it would be cool, but I really don't think you would. I don't think you would either. That's the thing. That I'm not, that's that's where I'm at right now. I'm okay with that. I just wanted to. I wanted to dangle that in front of you. Yeah. No, if you no. had a trait you could call on to be like, let me get my advisor in on this and just set yourself up for a free fate point. I don't have such a such a trait. Right. Okay. Listens to advisors is not so, on the character sheet, sorry. I'm blowing raspberries from afar. Yeah. So the king Where are is, we, Eric? We are oh we're you. sorry, we're we're in the throne room, right? We're right. In, we're at court. And is it king... just me and him, or no, 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 no? Okay. There's a retinue of of chancellors and guards and our counselors and guards and and um, just court gossipers around, and um, he looks very happy, but his words belie uh, definitely a frustration. So he's like, you know, he looks to you. Uh, he's standing up, right? He's talking to people uh, when you come in. And do you what do you, when you how do you approach the king when when you in, want to go talk? in a manner most formal as okay. necessary of a regent? We've met before on the dance yeah. floor, but he approached me in that in that regard. Yeah. Uh, in this way, I'm probably doing uh, taking a knee. Yeah. Uh, Are you trying to link test your etiquette into giving a good impression to this guy? No, I feel like I just generally give a good impression. I don't. <laughs> I don't feel like I need to test etiquette here, <laughs> right? Like I'm not. That... All I'm saying is, like, this is something that's natural to Count Swan, unless, I... unless it's super important that he is, does something exactly perfectly right. I Here's feel like I generally give a good impression. I do. Let Swan, me ask you... 2017. Well, let me ask you guys this question: How do I make a test to see whether or not you writing the that in Cindyary post about these people being heretics and being killed turned into a witch hunt and someone innocent died. How do you um, like check if that's the I, case? That how do I make that the case without it with it in a way that's not like oh, just arbitrary? Are we there's can a, there's a, fate a, it? see if it happens? So so if you want to, you can die of fate it. But I have another answer for you, which I I hold to be better. It's not a question of if it happened. Of course it happened. Of course it happened because that conflict is interesting. 
That's fair. That, that, that would be my take as a uh, GM. It's like but like rule of law is not a bad schools idea. of GMs, you know. Yeah. I, I hold that action to be so interesting that, of course, there has to be fallout. But if you I, want to I take like it out, I would roll a die of fate. I think that is the fallout from this mm. as well. So, like, you're not wrong, but look what happened to it. So This is what um, happens when you call for blood. Show me uh, news, Eric. Count Ronald Swan. I wish we could meet on better terms. I wish... Man, I'm in a bind. You're, uh... My you're... lord, it, it is a fantastic day. The sun is shining. We're both capable of walking without being in a hospital bed. Your bards have the tendency of putting out a witch hunt. Were you responsible for this? Your po your silence. No, no, no. Me. I mean, Swan has an yeah. answer to it. Sure. I just, just like I'm off the cuff. Yeah. Trying to order it correctly. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I am not the ultimate authority of the church, but I am responsible for a series of events that have led to this point. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you have heard, but. Um... Six kids were killed in the streets last night. I'm going to breach into my... Uh... Thought to be Mivenese um, under that person, the Raven fellow. The Raven, yep. I'm going to reach under my armor and pull out an unholy symbol of Rovagug that I took off of... Oh no, we didn't get his corpse. All right, no, so I got know. his corpse. No. Uh, but he doesn't yeah. have an unholy. He doesn't have a symbol of Rovergag unless you ripped off his skin. All right, that's fine. I'm going to throw a unholy symbol of Rovergag. That let, I mean, let me ask before does... I make any yeah. assumptions here: <laughs> Are his mercenary followers also followers of Rovergag? No. Okay. All right. Well, then Swan has made a mistake, but he didn't give a shit. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> so he doesn't throw any unholy symbols of Rovagug, but he says, King Regent Naleski. Regent King, which what, I don't really know. He's what Regent. The order. Regent. Regent Naleski. It is indisputable that the Raven is an agent of Rovagug. And. <laughs> Like any plague, one must burn out the truth in an inquisition. We will find and interrogate his men. So far, those that have come to the Church of Abadar, I understand, have been found pure of any crimes. However, even one rat that survives on a ship can disease an entire crew. You should know from my actions, if you have heard how I was there when Aurelius, the prophet, healed the child. You should know that I take the death of children as no light thing. But there is a cost to be paid to prevent evil and malfeasance and treachery and treason from spreading. And even were they Ravoyan children, while I regret their death, it is a cost I would pay to stop the spread of Rovagug. These what are you're not to tell Ravoyan. their families. I would speak with their families as soon as I am aware of who they are. I had not heard of this incident. And as I said, I suppose I am directly responsible, even if I myself did not beat these children to death. Cool. Um, well, I think, I think they actually um, are petitioning the king here for, for justice, but they're probably just not in the room right now. Um, so he would probably say, well, they are, well, um, they have come here petitioning. He's judging me. He's literally just going to be like, oh, right over here. We've got them, you know, 
no it's on uh, television. I was gonna say that um they are they are here in the castle. We have them waiting. Um I wanted to talk to you first, of course. Make sure this isn't some kind of weird thing, but it sounds like you need to talk to them. I will speak with them. Um <laughs> When he says Public it sounds opinion. like you need to talk to them, that's like the king telling you, "Go talk to them." Right? So I mean, it's like I'm... it's it's a com- it's almost like a command. I mean, he's trying his is best. Is it a dismissal? Yeah, like it's okay. it's a polite dismissal, right? Like it's it's him in court speech. That's like, yeah, that's your cue to take a bow and go talk to them. Right, if that, because that's okay. that's the king's wishes, right? That's is the king wishes being communicated in that way. I mean, that's the regent's wishes. Well, we'll get it. Well right. said. Okay. Little scrub. Sure. So, do you stick around, or do you do that? I mean, I suppose I go into the waiting room with Mari and Jerry Springer and uh, go talk to these families. Okay. Ah, he spoke grieving. There we go. Okay. Um, well, I mean, the king's not coming with you. The king's got to do some stuff. And it's like, I know. come find me when you're when you're done. Mm-hmm. So, um, you see about uh, three families, moms, dads. Um, they're they're Mivenese, not um, as far as you can tell. As in, they have like they're wearing the the clothes of of Mivan, and um, they look Mivanese. They smell Mivanese. So they're you see them, you see... basically, because that's what Mivan yeah. is. It's just a little uh, revoid. They are Mivan. Yeah, Mivan is founded by renegade sword lords. They, you, you can see the the moms uh, are being comforted by the the dads, like kind of together, like you know they just lost their kids, and um, they they look angry, but they don't say anything to you. Um, I think like I think you're probably escorted by some guards and stuff when you come into right, so like they, um, they they know who like that apparently you're the, the person responsible. So I think they're gonna ask you like, did you, how could, how could this happen? How could you? Yeah, I, I think that's what they was just saying. So how how could how could this how could this happen? My boy is dead. I weep for the loss of your children, good sirs and ma'ams. But life is often cruel, and the pursuit of justice is often wickedly turned. We will see to it that they are buried with all the rights due to Abadarian heroes and that you are provided for. There is no excuse for their death, only an explanation that we Bravoyans are like the icy shores. We are a hard people and that we do not allow the foul taint of dark magic and Rovagug worship to take root in the soil here. My my chill like you know my my boy Peter wasn't what these are innocent boys. I do not disagree, but in the pursuit of such dark treacheries, your boys fell into the path of the overly zealous. Yeah, and I. Uh... I think you probably have to make a roll or something to like uh, for consoling we ki- them. We killed your uh, children for good yeah. reasons. Yeah, yeah. You have to pers- convince them that their children being killed is reasonable. Soothing platitudes. I don't. I don't think or that's what I'm trying pers- to do at all. Or uh, persuasion. What are you? What are you trying to do? I it's definitely just soothing platitudes. Le- I'm not trying to convince them that it's reasonable. You're just uh, being sympathetic. 
Oh, you're just laying it out there. You're being like, this happened for these reasons. Either I'm just like, this happened. We're gonna do what we can to prevent it in the future. But this is a cost that had to be paid. Yeah, then that's rhetoric. Oh boy. Well, you know what I'd really love is to get another uh, perception check that I don't get credit for. So all oratory. (laughs) Uh, or I would allow oratory as well. You're addressing a group, right? And you could fork rhetoric. Uh, I don't have rhetoric. I have zero learned in rhetoric. Uh, I would sure love to fork peasant ones. Ugly though. truth is also applicable. As always, there's a bunch of skills you could use. I might I might do ugly truth. I'm curious what the difficulty would be. Uh, there's a op list on ugly truth. Yep. Yeah. Let me get at that. It's Speak- right. That's right, motherfuckers. I'm gonna micromanage the shit out of this role. If I can get a good, good burning old demand with truth tests, I'll definitely do it. Ugly truth. Um, the obvious worst outcome: the ugly truth about family, ugly truth about friends, ugly truth about complex political situation, ugly truth about the nuanced or delicate situation. Uh, I think complex political or nuanced or delicate situation is appropriate. Which is either up four or five. I it's, mean, I can't possibly. Make it's a that. delicate situation. Yeah, I'd rather oratory. Uh, sure. I don't think. I don't think there's anything about your child dying that's not delicate. <laughs> um, I mean, again, I'm not really trying to console them. I'm just like, this is the grim reality that we live in. Uh, sometimes these things happen, and you'll be taken care of, and we'll do our best. If this never happens again. But in the pursuit of uh, purity, we must. You're convincing them they died for a good cause. Sure. Right? I mean, an Abadarian cause. A good, bad. Sure. Mm. sure. But yeah, that, that sounds like persuasion. Like you're trying to persuade them. That seems appropriate. So you're trying to persuade a group, meaning oratory. Yeah. I mean, oratory. So, sure. so once again, because your intent is to. Um, I assuage their feelings. Uh-huh. Um, it's a, a group of, of grieving uh, parents. It has to be oratory, um, not yep. a truth, based on your intent. Uh, yeah. Um, what kind of difficulty am I looking at? Um, their will. will of, their will is three. Okay. Okay. It's like, What's that's the, like the, the typical will. Failure con uh, the typical will is four. Oh. Um, the uh, what's the failure consequence? So the failure consequence of this is that obviously you're what um <laughs> they don't forgive you. Um, they're gonna get escorted out of here and uh, hating you in a way, right? Like the, I can't. You've done this, you know, and just gonna have to live with it. Can I suggest that they start shit? That seems like a good uh, failure consequence for this. Like. That it causes like a blowback, religiously speaking. Um. Oh, like well, that this pisses off Mivon. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Whatever. But it could be like one of the state churches is killing citizens in the street because of a perceived uh, problem with some cult. Like that's that's bad. That's bad news bears and like. Everyone, be they religious or not, should feel threatened and want to deal with it, right? Yeah, they should want to deal with these Rovigovian yeah. cultists. That live well, more them. more That's about the, you yeah. know the the mad crusaders. Religious religious issues, yeah, about this could be a good consequence of failure. So not only are they um, un, not only are they still unsympathetic, um, they're still your words did not soothe their their grief. But this this ferments into a wider discussion of uh, religion. Is the Crusaders arriving in Vienna, right? It's like, we come in the name of God. Okay, that's cool, but maybe stop killing us. Because that's not fair. Fair. See, we don't learn about Hasten. that in, in American fair. schools. Uh, I think I can fork peasant wise here. I would also yeah. like to fork persuasion. I don't know if that's gonna that's not always a thing you can do on oratory. I see you thinking it over with triple ellipses, dot dot dot. 
Um, yeah, three, right? Uh, persuasion. We're saying yes. 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 All right. Uh, so that'll give me three bonus dice versus op three. Do, 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 do. All right, that looks green. There green. we go. No sixes. Oh well. Um, I uh, get no test. That's fine. As long okay. as I don't have grieving widows trying to murder me in the street. Well dodged, sir. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying. I mean, based on my intent, they don't walk out of here singing the praises of Count Ronald Swan, but. No, you know, but that's not the no. point. Um, so Although think... you could... Oh, go on. Oh, I mean, I was just going to say that I think that they are just like... I mean, they're... they're they gonna need say... to go grieve. That's yeah, they're going to say thank you, right? But like... I'm going to loudly, like, before they leave, ask that the people who killed the children be sent to me as well. No, yeah. no. I want to like, talk to them. Yeah, you're right. They're just grieving. It's like... You know, it's just they understand how you're. They're, you're. They're, they see you making an effort more than than anything, right? Because like that's what they see in their grief, and um, you know, they just kind of say that no, nothing will could can bring their kids back. Quick cut to. I mean, I'm thinking Aurelius immediately. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, I, I was cutting. I was cutting over to the to the Diabloist, and um. <laughs> Mason uh, teaching each other. Okay, so this is, you know, like we were playing chess and like eating uh, a sandwich. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, really. Yeah, so I guess as well. Um, Basically everybody but me. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So what what's next on the agenda? Any beliefs you want to chase there, AP? Uh, I mean, at some point, I'd like to summon these child killers to me. But I would also really like to talk to the king about getting this commission. Yeah. So let's talk. To, yeah, let's talk to the king, right? About the commission. Sweet. So, um, you successfully. Several return. minutes yeah. later, Swan returns, looking grim but satisfied. Yeah, and I mean, really, like the king is just like very Magneto-ish. See, I, I'm really. I think. I think you realize that um, the king put you up to that, the regent, right? That's something the king could have done himself, yeah. but he made you do it. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. So you know he he comes back and says he just he says thank you, right? It's actually Without, weird that either of us would do it, but sure. Thank you. He just says that it, given this particular circumstance uh, circumstances. Having having word that you personally stepped in, I feel was a the right move to make. So thank you. Hmm. And um, he trails off, but I think I think that's when you wanted to step in and request something. There was an understanding that has been going around that soon the lands that we the. I don't have the words. Trust me, Swan has it. I'm getting there. Yeah. Uh, the swords of the stolen lands. Swords of the stolen lands uh, would be gifted. Uh, rulership, governorship of what we have created. A buffer zone to protect Brevoy from the south. I know not the truth of the matter, but I have been hoping to speak with you for some time. Go on. Is there such truth to this matter that you intend to dispatch myself and my court once more to the south in order to protect Brevoy independently as a third party? He, um, Do you require my governorship? At my, he's like at my sister's request. We have several uh, establishing parties looking to to make expeditions to the south for 
formalized claimantship. Yes, it is from the queen. Uh, is she queen regent? No, she's just the actual dowager, queen, right? Queen yeah, dowager. dowager. The, I spoke it's code for the powerless. Dowager queen at length on this subject. But it is, and I'm like gritting my teeth, but it is not her decision to make. It is yours. Yeah. By the way, uh, I just want to make a quick note how you're mentioning how like the streets and stuff with cults and stuff like that. Meanwhile, like Sulius Aurelius is literally like a prophet and you're, a, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's a certain irony Listen, to the whole we're situation. we're not a cult. We're a legitimate religion. Well, you just... God said so. Yeah. Okay. The cult of Abaddon. Um, okay. Cult of mankind. Listen, it's cult of ultra Abadar. Okay, praise it's the emperor. Than regular Abadar, uh, enlightened that, yeah. Abadarism. Am I right? <laughs> East Anglo Orthodox Abadarianism, the one it's, true it's, kind of Abadarianism. <laughs> yes, exactly. The Church of Latter Day Abadar. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, uh, he says. Well, I guess the. Now is a good time as any. Uh, you, um, Baron Varn's sons, um, as well as a few others, we're going to be setting up four um, independent. Uh, what do you call dukes' territories? Dukedom. Uh, dukedom. Dukedom. Duchy, technically. Duchy. Dem domains. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, it's a domain. Yeah. Um, I mean, so I'm literally hearing that I'm about to get promotion, right? Like I'm about to become an even bigger noble. Well, here's here's what he's well, about to get land. No, yes and no. Here's what he's going yes to ask. No. This is the part he's telling you. Do you have a suggestion for someone to rule? <laughs> we're the reason why we've been, we've been taking so long on this is that we're uns we we are still kicking around the idea of whether or not you shall you shall be your domains shall be under the umbrella of Brevoy or a technically independent. We're afraid that. Um, should we push too far to the south? Uh, the river cities would not would see this too much as an encroachment. Um, potentially even putting aside their differences to and and causing uh, war. See, it's a it's a touchy subject. You had it. You have experience down there. Do I have think? some experience with the river cities and also with. Uniting disparate provinces. You're a Rosslander. What do you? What's what's your side of this? If you were to create and establish new duchies, that would imply that you are able to create and personally choose who will be voting in the king's moot at the end of the year. Or, I feel such a move is extremely dangerous to your person. Oh, no, no. Naturally, naturally, these kingdoms would abstain from such a vote. Then it formally, sounds as if, formally being adopted until after the king's moot. It sounds as if they are not of Brevoy in the first place. Very there well. is... A long history of countries sponsoring expeditions such as these to remain independent but closely allied, and at some point later in the future, becoming more closely aligned, being absorbed back into their host. It gives you a region of deniability, a zone of exclusion from which you need not fear encroachment or banditry a trade partner there is much you could do you speak of vassalization indeed yes it seems to be the way we're leaning towards plus there's no chance there's no guarantee that the kingdoms will take off in the first place well and I, oh, I really want to establish Juan as like a cool older uncle with this guy, despite the fact we've been kind of cold and distant so far. I want and planning to, to murder him. I, no, 
you're so wrong. You literally <laughs> dangled the murder him thing in front of Swan, and Swan was like, nope, I'm going to, instead, I'm going to take the harder role and, mm. and hit that DC. Yes, that yes, obstacle. so I am right. Swan doesn't want to murder this guy at all. Because I mean, of me. <laughs> what? You were the one who set the situation up in the first place for him to be murdered. You were the one who wanted to murder him. I was the That's one who told you out of it. That's not even close to true! <laughs> okay. Just... We have okay. video of it. Okay, so Swan is trying to get this guy on his side. Now I'm confused. I forgot what he just said. Someone rewind it for me. Because I wanted Swan to be like, wise older uncle. Mm -hmm. you're, you're talking about like setting up a vassal state. Damn Which it! Is... I don't remember where I was. I, I guess the point. Yeah, I don't. It was the exact line. That's that's the problem. The point is that the buffer zone, if it's Brevoyan, could be construed as Brevoy moving south, which could be a threat to the river cities. Mm. Which is a problem you don't avoid if they're oh, no, vassalage no, no, to it was, Brevoy. No, the problem was he was like, uh, they might not even take off in the first place, and so mm. Swan is going to be like. Regent Naleski, with that attitude, they never will. I find it optimal to maintain a positive outlook on life, especially in terms of business ventures. Such attitude tends to flow downwardly to one's subjects and inspire them to greater acts. And he's, I mean, Swan is definitely saying it and like, yes, yes, I know what I'm talking about. You're in charge, but let me hit you with a little, little factoid. And I'm highly successful. So listen. <laughs> You're like a reverse Merovingian. Yeah. You don't see cost, you see chance. <laughs> yeah. Um, certainly. I think he's going to, oh boy. Good. Um, must say though, another reason why um, your name was brought up for, for for being such a perfect person for for this job. Not only would you get to rule, but because you're going to be mostly self funded, you have full say over anything that goes on. Yes, self funded. I remember the last expedition. <clears throat> However, while I can, I mean, if you are open to your own agreements and deals, but indeed. However, I would request that we are given some measure of aid from the crown in this vassalage. I believe I can set up logistics, supplies, military troops, but what we lack, what we cannot make ourselves, is warships. A small fleet of warships out of the capital or out of Rossland, Restov, would not go unnoticed given that the territory that I assume we would be given benefit of lies directly along a lake and a river, a major trade route to the south. A token force. Well, you aren't the only one looking for trade routes to the south. Indeed. However, I suspect that out of all of them that you are sending, I'm the only one who's a highly successful trader. So let me look. I'll do a quick research. I don't think that's true, um, per se. Um, and that's when my rival steps into the throne room and is like, well, hey, well, Count Swan, it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember me? Oh, yes. This is my grandson, Penis. <laughs> what? Yeah. What the fuck? Pokemon. When you name your, your... Gary you. Yeah, Gary <laughs> You choose river trade? Well, I choose trade on the plains. <laughs> <laughs> That, 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 that. I can move large amounts of freight quickly. I win automatically. <laughs> yeah. So I think the big thing is um, above the stolen lands and, and whatnot. I think there's a um, 
or like right below. I think there's going to be several other trade routes going down. No, I think I think a Baron, um, who we haven't seen yet, uh, is also going to be doing one. Um, yep. to, who's, who's a pretty okay uh, trader. No, so I think so. I think what the king says is like, yes. Uh, I mean, you're you are right. No one no one is good as you. Um, you have quite the way with coin. So he he. I'm letting you know that, but um. As as dramatic irony, but um, the king the king agrees with you right now. I mean, is he deceiving me, or does he believe no, that he's I'm just deflecting? But he better he, he like does. I'm the best, but not by much. No, he believes you are the best, but okay, yeah, not by much. Just not, a, not so much right, by just to be much, clear, like, like no one ever like, was. Uh, yeah. Hmm. yeah, I mean, so so the crux here is that you're asking for them to send warships to the south along the trade route. But wasn't the point he brought up earlier that they didn't want to seem aggro to the South States? Yes. Yeah. But we already know my long-term plan is to conquer Maven. So. Oh yeah, I, I get you. I get you. It's <laughs> just that I'm I'm pointing to what I observe as a as a conflict of interest in the conversation right. and being like maybe hand, there's a test here. I'm literally saying I'm gonna fund all this myself. Like I'm gonna make all the arrangements on my end. All I'm asking for is warships. Why is these these English galleons in Spanish waters? Oh, it's nothing to do with us attacking you. No, we we they're being rented by this Englishman who is sailing them down there. It's not England is not attacking you, just an English merchant I mean, with our ships. Be, they're gonna be flying my sick new flag, bro. Yeah, and still be, you know. I'll buy them. It, like, I'll buy them from the crown, but I literally don't have the capability to just walk down to a dock and be like, build me six ship warships, me up. Ship me up, crew nice them, and, and deliver them to me next week. Yeah. Well, yeah, so if, if you can do that. What I'm saying is basically I observed the conflict of interest and I'm saying maybe there's a role here. I don't know. No, I think I think you're willing, he's willing to give them um, the <laughs> circumstances. Yeah, it's like consider it a favor, right? Or like consider it, or not favor, but like good wishes or something like that, right? All right. Just, just writing down Duke Ronald Swan, Admiral. <laughs> so, how many warships has he just been given? That's a good question. How many warships have I been given? Because that is not a small deal. Uh, I mean, I'd have no idea what, even what constitutes a warship and what doesn't. Uh, it, there's these aren't like galleys. I mean, those no, so are they're, they're they're river ships, right? Like this yeah. is a river they're, nation. They're like mostly. glorified barges, right? Um, mm, I would assume that they're probably like fit to fight, though. Like yeah, ballistas. yeah, yeah. They're uh, don't worry, we'll get those swapped out for cannons. Uh, they're militarized the important, barges. The really important part here is that we have ships hardened for war, crewed by people who can fight on water. Yeah. That's the important part. Like we don't we don't send out like six regular dudes who c clearly can't handle the rigging and have no idea how to balance on a moving deck. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. No, we're no, getting no, hardened have... sailors. Yeah, and and pretty well trained crews. All sure. right, so I'm just gonna put a nebulous but small amount of river warships. I mean, so that's that's yeah, that's pretty pretty cool right there that you just got that. You like. What are these, like, Carax or something like that? Uh, What's a Carax? Maybe Briggs. Uh, basically, like, small sailing ships. That are awesome. I've never Proof heard by, like, of Carax. Carax? Let me find you some. Is it, like, a kayak? No, no. no. C-A-R-R-A-C-K? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Crack Cruiser. Oh, I see a bunch of spaceships. <laughs> uh, that's probably the Star Wars Imperial uh, Crack Light Cruiser. Here, I'll, I'll link you some it's images. Very you can enjoy them at your leisure. I mean, Karaks are very... Oh, there we go. Here's a Karak. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Now I see it. That's much better. That's well, I'll probably even a little bit too big, but yeah. Unless there's... Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Yes, a Karak. That looks right. I'm looking at an actual picture of one and its size. Yeah, that looks, that looks right. Okay, got a couple, maybe three or four of those. Yeah. Great. Perfect. Okay. Cool. 
All uh, good things. I mean, those are pretty substantial vessels. Say, you know, they have like eighty to one hundred people crewing them. So, yeah. Uh, and I can transport maybe my smallest military unit on them. So we'll work on that. Anyway, the important part is that I am now a duke. Uh, on top of being a count. <laughs> so an that's that's certainly an assumption right there. Uh, I, did that I mean, happen? He said he was giving me a duchy. Uh, and then it yeah, did he's giving you land the size of a duchy, but I just want to be clear: like, is is he going to give him like, are you gonna be boosted to the highest rank of nobility? Is that what's going on here? Because um, I feel like if that's the case, then we kind of glossed over it. Well, I think the devil is in the details, and that I think the idea is that um, you will be formally recognized after you pay uh, a certain fee, essentially. Basically sh symbolizing that your country is successful, right? All right, That's tell the me idea. what the ob is. Uh, and next time I'll uh, test it as soon yeah. as we get down well, there. No, I'm, what I'm saying is that this will be something after your, your, after your country is like actually established. Right? All right. This well, is like, this. Like, a, 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 like basically you're paying a... Um, yeah, you're you're paying a uh, what do you call it? That's like a sign up fee, essentially, to be T to be Tell invited me, um, into paying down um, the principal, Eric. Uh, can I? No, then there's take... no. It's there's no there's no loan to you. This is like a opt in thing, and this right. shows you that your country is successfully and like stable. It's successful and stable enough. Let, right. Let me hit That's you with the, the in between. Uh, okay. What is it called? Not they March don't... count. Mar Marquee. Marquee. Am yeah. I promoted to a marquee then? Because that's yeah. literally yeah, that's count literally on the I'll... borderlands. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, marquee, right. marquee, marquee, right. Ronald Swan until yeah. he becomes Duke. Very well. Yeah, that's interesting. That that implies that Noleski actually has the power to do that. Is that the case? Well, yeah, as a regent, as acting. Regent. Yeah, that's that. He's a regent. He's not a king. Can he grant high? Mar uh, can he? Does he legally speaking have the power to grant high nobility titles? Isn't that what the king's mood is there for? Uh, I, way, I'm I, I'm asking because I just want yes. to know like what the so, lay of the land is. The the re there's a reason because of um the agreement between uh, Rosland and Brevoy, or uh, and Isia about for Brevoy about the nature of these kingdoms and what they can do, and what they're what they're supposed to. And this is it's part of the agreement is that they they both have signed off on this. Awesome. All right. So he, like functionally speaking, he's actually no different from a king. Uh, in this circumstance, like there's there was a uh, talks behind the screen, the scenes, essentially that um, in this in this narrow scope, he has the authority to do this. Right. Like that's the, pretty. The, the Dukes have agreed that this is this is something that they're allowed to do. That's pretty gangster. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Marquis Swan. I got to figure out what the name of my new country is, but I'm Marquis of of. Uh, whatever is Phil. I'm still Count of Swan, of course, but just need more titles. I'm only up to about 15. Uh, figure one new one an episode, and I'll be doing pretty good. Yeah, man. So, uh, uh, when you say he's been given like land the size of a duchy, I have a question for you. Yeah. What does that mean? Because it sounds like it's about one seventh of Brevoy. In real world <laughs> parallels, a duchy is about twice the size of Brevoy. Because Brevoy is tiny. Well, he's given the land approximately the size of the the Not charter marches. that he was given to yeah. to explore. That's his domain. The, the green belt basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sweet. So the Nar marshes and the uh, uh, plains water and the yeah. Cane lands. Basi yeah, you're you're basically bounded by the Nar marches and and the Cane lands. I mean, for, don't for, worry, Nar marches won't be there for long. They'll regrow in twenty years, but uh... STFU, you're not touching them. Pl build your cities oh, where there is no marsh. Get out of them. Yeah, I am gonna build cities by cutting the marsh down. <laughs> I am Driving going to. Out the I will. I will fight you on the moon. <laughs> That's a really good video. A fight you on the moon. <laughs> you realize the person who says that loses, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Handing out noble titles is probably the least gangster. <laughs> That's true. You're, it's like, I'm the legitimate government. I don't need to be gangster. <laughs> okay. I mean, I got everything I needed done out of that scene. Uh, I got some ships. I got a new title. I got some lands. I have a purpose for next episode when we go south. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have left wanting to summon the Rogarvian houses. Uh, however much time that takes to do my like pro Rogarvia rally. I uh, too have stuff you, I like to yeah. do. And now what do you mean by a pro Rogarvian rally? I want to talk to Manning and smooth things over there and then get the noble houses behind me in a way that when I come back later to c kick the shit out of Manning, that I might have some allies in it. Oh. Basically okay. like, oh yeah, Manning, we're cool now. Look, I got rid of this dangerous heretic for you. Uh, sorry that your military is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> he does so kind of declare war on you. I mean, if he does, it's going to be gangster shit when we roll up with our new navy in that, oh, oh okay. there's not actually any rivers in our territory. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll mm. roll up with our giant army and make them. Anyway, the point is, I'm trying to fish for an affiliation boost. And yeah, you you did the legwork already. You sent the missive out a couple of, like a month and a half ago, like, come and talk with me. But I also yeah. want to start stocking, if not my court, then at least my new empire with competent nobles. I want to. You're go basically south. setting up future vessels. Yeah, I want to go south with pre. Like, I don't want to get there and be like, I don't have any administrators. I want to be like, all right, cool. Yeah, we brought the mayor with us. Yeah, you're going to be bringing. Yeah, I don't want Jim Dunthorpe to be the mayor. I want you know the baronet. Dunthorpe. So part of me thinks that um I mean we could do a whole fucking series like we spend an entire like session after session of you just interviewing people and doing this thing or that, we can that, we can make a large overarching role and then you can basically allow you to pick certain people. I would say just roll it like you would any other affiliation. Like circles? Oh, and affiliations? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For, just for like that, that is what he's doing, right? AP is being like I would like to Swan to have an affiliation with the Rogavian house that I can call on later. And that I mean, sounds I like have such a oh, to I grab, have such an affiliation. Yeah, I want to grab prominent it. people. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What yeah, is, yeah, 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 yeah. What is so, your affiliation so, with them? I gotcha. Uh, one. I gotcha. So, yeah, so what what kind of test would it be to form this this union right now? That's the thing I'm trying to think of right now. Because I feel like create, it should be it should be one role to create this union. Create like uh, or, or create or them or as an affiliation. Oh. It is literally yeah. what it's there for. All right, Cir circles that? up, yeah. circles up the appropriate oh. like contact person, and then do the the resources test legwork to make the affiliation. And there's the affiliation. Aha! See, that's why I love GMing this game because I'm actually dumb, and Mason knows everything. <laughs> no, <laughs> Eric, no, please. Okay. No, 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 with the self disparagement. Yeah. So we have an affiliation. Um, let's see. So. What we, what we would ideally do in this case, if we want yeah. to create it as an affiliation, is you as the GM decide, is there some kind of preliminary test that needs to be done before Swan can even begin to circle up the right people? If not, no. we just go into circling up the right people. No, I think it's so, just circling the right people. But so point thing. to like a person who is representative of this group of people yeah. that Swan is trying to get on his side. And then it can circle that dude up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, circle up that dude. And once that circles test has been successfully uh, done, then we can go into purchasing the affiliation, yep. which is done um, with resources. Let's see. So it is a same life path occupation, essentially. Um, it's technically not a very common a, person. It's the same life path, but it's a higher rank. So it's two. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty high rank right now. Well, they're technically. Oh, I guess. No, you're meeting with people all the same. No, no, no. You're right. Yeah, you're they're they're right. lower rank, right? They're lower. No, rank. there should be. Or I would. I would. I would argue it's even. Yeah, I would argue okay. it's even because probably some of them are technically higher and other ones are lower. Like it's just like depends on exactly who you're talking to within the groups. But well, that, that's why I suggest you. Functional authority of this. 
burning wheel when it comes to circles is better of like if you want to talk to the leader of the tunnel snake like talk to, to talk to the tunnel snakes hey, listen, then you the tunnel you, snakes you, rule they, they do the that's why you want to talk to them so if rule. you want to talk to the tunnel snakes you don't circle up the tunnel snakes you circle up brian who leads the tunnel snakes because it, it's better at that because then you can point to like what is brian brian is is he higher or is he lower right so oh, okay. I, I disadvise you trying to create a then, circles role for a bunch of people. Yeah. Okay. So Make then, a circles role for the guy who represents the bunch of people. Sure. So we're talk we're gonna talk to a baron. I mean um, that's way lower rank than a count, but okay. Is it? Oh yeah. yes. no, then it's a count. Sorry. A count count All one. Right. That's the same rank because yeah, same rank. Uh um, I mean it's literally count marquee duke high Same so, same yeah. So same same life path. Um, same station. Um, sp I'm definitely looking for someone who would be open to being influenced against the Mannings. Because so I want the whole group to be like contrary to the Mannings. One. So one. And you've already, and I would argue that time's not a problem because you already. Time, <laughs> I mean, given that I waited months for this. Exactly. It's not an issue as well. So you're looking at Ob 1. Uh, How? I mean, two, right? Because I'm looking for a specific, uh, same a life specific... path. Yep, same station. Uh, right, but Dispos I am looking for a specific disposition. Yeah. Um. So, uh, I so it goes from one. one to two or three. No, it's oh, it bases oh, base off is base off is one, so it's two. I'm, okay. My apologies. Yeah. All right. Base off. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. I mean, I'm going to obviously use my Bravoyan nobility reputation and my affiliation with the Rogarvians to just throw... Just dump a kajillion dice one. at this. Yeah. How is the op lower than three? Walk me through that math. Because it's the only the only deciding factor is an op uh, a plus a single addition uh, based on disposition. Yeah. What and you're asking for is people not liking the Mannings is like, okay. That's a, that's only a single ob. All right, that and, makes sense. And that's the defining um, factor. Boom. Green. Huge. Psh, huge. Bigly success. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, I don't have enough fate that I can just throw it at circles. Uh, so I'm going to keep my fate. But yeah, can, tell me who it is that I have just summoned up. Uh, Count or Countess. Do uh, I tell you or do you tell me? That's a good question. Um, I have one in mind. His, yeah. So it's um. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Like, does he have a car? Um, where is his? Let me. Find be, does he have a cart? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shut up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Get in touch with Why the guy from the Nobles Union. <laughs> Hey, uh, I listen, I don't think the Mannings have been doing a very good job. Uh, I think we need to make them forget about it. There it is. So, um... Garmian. Yeah, so it's, uh... Let's go with Count uh, Victor Valarian. Victor fly high, fly Valarian. High. Victor Valarian. I don't recognize that from the <laughs> Marky Mark. <laughs> no, no. The House of Mark was long ago eliminated. No one really North of sure the Wallberg. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. God damn it. That's the worst. You're, de you're degrading fly everything. Fly high, fly fly far is there. <laughs> it's there Valerians, works. yeah. Victor. Yeah. Uh Victor or, or Vitya. It goes so by I guess... it goes by Vitya. I guess I'm sitting down for a meeting with uh, the Valerians Vitya. and their Vitya Valerian, yeah, their alignment of houses. Yeah. Have you brought your advisor? If not, I, think I shall. So, hmm. but we're back in the fourth wall again, and it's clearly the the fire damage has been fixed, but it's kind of obvious because there's like fresh wood patches in certain places. Uh, and and there's like people going to sand it down and like spill drinks on it to make it look more authentic. <laughs> it's the guy standing there with a bottle of juice, pull up. Yeah, exactly. Pull up. Yeah, <laughs> that's commitment. Sauce. Yeah, 
I mean, listen. If there's one thing we know about Swan, it's that he commits hard to all of his bits. It's not authentic enough unless your shoes does that annoying sticking to the floor feeling every step you take. So, um... My good count, Valerian. How are you this afternoon? Thank you for coming to meet with me in the capital. I know that the trip takes some time. My pleasure, Count... Oh, excuse me. Marquis Swan. It is a recent appointment. Mm. And a welcome one. Victor. It's been a while since I've been in the capital. So, I mean, let me ask. Since Circles is someone you already know, can I kind of establish here that I have at least an amiable relationship with this person where I can address them by their first name? I found out between sessions that uh, you can circle up people you've never met before. Ah, okay. It's well, just typically used for people you've met. May yeah, I call typically you typically making Victor. people on dispositions and such. Yeah. Uh, Vit I prefer Vitya. Vit All right. You're going to have to spell that one. For Vitya. Yeah. Victor, India, Tango, uh, Yankee, Alpha. Hmm. Vitya. 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 That sounds Eastern. Did you perhaps have some background from there? Yes, my uh, my four. What do you call ancestors, right? Yeah. Four yes, my fathers. yeah, my forefathers. Yeah, my my ancestors were Vitya. Yeah, <laughs> last name Games. Um, Might I introduce my an my, my ancestors are, are Issian. This is uh, General Mason of No House in particular. <laughs> I, I do the inconspicuous you, greeting. General. Yeah. Um, they're very reserved talking to you. Mm, yeah, likewise. Rep reputation precedes them, right? They know the, that you are someone sorcerer. not to be trifled with, so they... Exactly. Very nice. Let me see what reputation uh, they're that not, would be. They're, they're suspicious, frankly. Uh, uh, yeah, my 2D uh, infamous reputation as a storm crow and my 1D... Reputation as a sorcerer, a friend of rats, and the general of the Iron Claw. Yeah, yeah. okay. I forgot I had one those. Of the, yeah, you don't know what it is that they heard of you, but you know it's one of those things, and you know that yeah, they're probably suspicious. So. Yeah, it's fine. I, I actually dig that. Mason Mason basks in that kind of uh, relationship. So yeah, like yeah, fear me, bitch. Vitya, I find myself on the verge of undertaking a business venture and noble undertaking on behalf of this great nation and the Rogarvian houses. And I wonder if I might not call upon Rogarvia's aid in keeping her safe. As I move to buffer to the south, I would hope that I would be able to stymie the influx of bandits who work their way into the interior of our lands and burn our houses and crops and beset our trade and uh, aggravate our people. And so I would call upon you and your affiliates for aid, specifically in the form of advisors. I would like to create a core of counselors, governors, mayors, specialists in the thing that we, the nobility, do and bring them with me into this new holy land. I mean, Vit yeah, Vitya is nodding along and like, yes, yes. Now, this sounds this sounds good. This sounds very good, but I know I know what some might say and forgive me if this sounds rude, but I'm afraid some might ask what's in it for me. That is an excellent question. This is where you flex the resources. For, uh, I mean, maybe, but that's not yeah. what my belief says, friend. For a long time, the Church of Abadar has been one of the premier banking resources of Rogarvia. And with them, we need not place ourselves in grave danger by putting our money under the thumb of Labadens. With my new position as the chosen one of Abadar, 
I would be willing to see that looser restrictions are placed upon Rogarvians. What do you that mean when you say that? He doesn't say some, that. I am some, saying that as a GM. Okay, like whatever pressures the church puts on people, tax wise, like uh, tithe wise. Oh, tithes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But In also, it give you an opportunity for good press. It is not often that the people sing out the praises of the nobility in these recent years of civil strife. But you may have heard that Abadar, and in its good works, has begun a public monument, a restoration of Brevoy to the greatness that it is always striven for. If you were to donate advisors, scions... Yeah, he's... You see, you you see, this is a tough sell to him, and he's not really. Buying That's okay. It. I'm still going down this line. Okay. <clears throat> if you were to bring these resources into the expedition, you would gain some small part of the hope and love that the people have for Abadar in these recent days. A commodity which many undervalue at their own risk. A happy people and a healthy people are ones who are paying their taxes and working in the fields without complaint. Mason nods sagely He's... behind you. He... he looks kind of disappointed, I think. I think I think Vitya uh, mentions how uh, he's like, that's going to be a hard sell. Marquee to whom? Swarm. To my associates. Idealism does not play as well, nor taste as sweet on parsnips. You Let's mistake my. And money you mistake my it. lord's. Uh, you mistake my lord's motive. My lord is merely showing the magnanimity of his deeper motive of his soul. He would not deign super uh, impose on you. Uh, the same values. Nay, uh, my lord is extending this merely as a courtesy. He, of course, intends to shower you with the appropriate accolades and show you and all of your colleagues and all of your peers the appropriate token and generosity that should befall you. How well said, Mason, and very unlike you. Allow me to be very frank. Vitya. It is time to remind the nobility that they have some small measure of obligation both to the people that they rule and to the church that helps keep these people spiritually enlightened. However, if what you seek is material gain, then you will have it. He nods and says, Perhaps I did not expect this to be such uh, an offensive thing. The ancestors who, who came here with Coral, they were promised one thing, lands and gold. I did not mean for this to be insulting. This is just the I way it's always insulted. been. I insulted. Simply... Monetary reward is how we how we speak as Rosslanders. That is part of the, the deal. I can assure you... Uh, what is the proper the title for this guy? What what is his title? Count. Count. Yeah. What what is his title? Uh, Lord Eminence, uh, Excellence, Grace. Oh, it would be Eminence. Yeah. I can assure you, Your Eminence, my Lord, merely extends this because he is, as I said, a magnanimous, a magnanimous individual. He wished to show you that he do uh, that he does this out of love for the people. Not to impose on you that you must do what you do for the same reason. Now, what Mega resources you? test AP. Uh, well, what I would like to fighting. What about fighting? I have quite a core contingent to my army. Is there something you would wish to add? Um, I think 
he doesn't want to say anything because he doesn't want to. Get, he doesn't want to box himself in and say anything. He wants to hear what you're thinking, and says, um, "So just continue. We want to know our obligations." Well, then your obligations are as such. You send specialists in the art that only nobility can provide. And in return, I will enrich your lands both physically and spiritually by allowing the church to grant you some small measure of its light upon your citizens <clears throat> and coin in your coffers. It would not be said that I am not a Rosslander. Some would say that I am one of the most Rosslanderish Rosslanders that have ever Rosslanded. <clears throat> He snorts. I see. <clears throat> he looks at you with some caution and says that um, it's very likely that the people will agree to this. But that is when the problems will start. People will try to broker their own deals with you. I'm sure you know. What will you do to make sure I'm here to the rely right people... on you. You are the head of this coalition of power, are you not? It is up to you to subdivide the resources. I'm afraid I'll be a little busy running a new duchy too. So you are inviting him to serve as sort of your chief of staff? Kind of, <laughs> <In a way>. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that, that works for him. Um. The creation of fraternal bonds should not be viewed with mistrust. It is a sign of prosperity and peace. Prosperity is something we will definitely have in the South. Peace we'll have to work on. Conf I, I nod to you and I say, all conflict is born out of a wish for peace. But great men must work hard to achieve it. I say as if being like, yeah, look, dude, you need to do this because you're totally born for it. <laughs> I think Swan disagrees with that sentiment that uh, peace is and conflict is born out of peace, but doesn't say anything in particular. Uh, the the really argument was that... for a way to draw this guy out. He seemed very serious. I mean, I, th I feel like you got him. Like, it seems yeah, like yeah, you're just in a position where you're like, yeah, I'm going to make this happen now. He's reserved, though, and that bothers me. Well, he's contemplative. You you are you are Swan guarded to a greater or lesser extent by the mechanics of the game, right? Like remember to you you exist in a space where you can honor the fiction of your own roles. You did not fail to circle this dude up so he does not have the enmity clause against you. You did not like, and if you successfully um, manage the um, the resources test against him, you have created the affiliation. Then problems might spring from that at Eric's behest whenever, but. Like, from the outset, there is nothing more you can do about it. Yeah. Well, I think... No, I, th I think you have them right now, right? All right. So uh, it is either an op 5, 7, or 9 resources test, depending on if you want this affiliation to be 1D, 2D, or 3D. 5. Oh, oh, it's up to him. It depends yeah, also yeah. on you, right? It's a question of, like... If it's 3D, that implies a scope to this group that may not be achievable. So if it's just like the Rustland houses, yeah. you might cap it at two. Yeah, I will cap it at two. Okay. Then so it's uh, seven. Seven, because it's plus two for high nobility. Yeah. Um, but that'll be really good to draw on. Um, yeah, I think so. I'm going to throw my funds and my cash dice behind this. It's a good um, idea. 12, 13... So you're gonna leave there with a, him with a parting gift? Uh, well, it's it basically reflective of like um, let me find it. It's like um, a goodie bag. The... It's parties. It's big parties yeah. and balls and galas and uh, yeah. This time Swan probably doesn't have anything prepared. No special chest popping out of the sky. No goodie bags. Instead, he just throws like several week long uh, parties for his cool new friends, and we'll see if these go well. Or our yeah. gauche. Well, there, there goes the the fun die. I thought, I'm sorry, the cash die. I thought that would last longer. All affiliations, no matter how lowly, require this resource test in order to be able to write uh, the new dice into the character sheet. There are parties to throw, clothes to purchase, bribes to pay, gifts to give, dues to account for, and other various sundries and expenses. 
Mm -hmm. That's 11, 12, 13, seven extra dice. There's a seven. Uh oh. That's Sweet. Real bad. I finally failed something. Uh, but you haven't spent that uh, your call on yet. I did spend my call on earlier in the session. Oh, did you? Yep. Okay. Uh, and there's no sixes. So I think that I'm boned. Do you, you want another to... call oh, yes. on? Do you have a separate call on? Nope. He does I not. Have... I mean, there's only one resources call on. That's Pennywise. Okay. Well. Uh, I fail. And I think I take a 1D hit on my fund. Uh, you do say a one D hit on your fund, and uh, you also get taxed. I think. I feel. I, mean, I believe I the success would be tax. tax. I I think that is uh, a tax. Yeah. It's the one so, D drop. Yeah. So it's sl um. I'll find out. Yeah. If if uh, the the fund is ablative, it eats the tax for you. I think you're right about that. I think you're absolutely right, and so that's obviously what it is. It's just that that makes sense that you are low on low on money. That's the failure. All right, so that that happens. Also, there is, of course, no gift of kindness for this one. So, what what does this mean that he failed this? I mean, um, it sounds like uh, the people aren't following. They yeah, aren't like you you fail to. My, I feel like they probably aren't impressed by my uh, fourth wall. Like I keep throwing all the gallus there, and they're just like, "This is not what we are accustomed to." I will not follow a man that does such. Let's see here. Our routine test character loses one die. Yep. Yeah. What, what you'll be wanting to do then is um, you want to change something significant so you can try this again. Uh, I don't think we have time to do that. I, th I thought maybe <laughs> no. next session are we going heading south? No. Well, you could still do it from there, really? I think. Okay. All right. Well, we'll probably be doing half. So, like, yes or no. I'll find governors when, if and when it's necessary. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll also, we out. could move south and it could be like a flashback. Right. So Krushenko's is weakened by this. Uh, yeah, Krushenko savings alone. Uh, probably all of the Rogarvians that are being invited to these parties are withdrawing their savings account from there <laughs> after hearing that I own it and then seeing these gauche parties. Oh, mm. so... oh, I didn't think. Probably that. we have a scene of me and Mason looking at someone. Going out in the street, they're just like, "No, I don't want to undertake your quest, you dirty wizard! Get away from me!" <laughs> I, I look to you with like a hint of sadness on my I face. I don't care then... what your name is, Strider or Strimmer or whatever. <laughs> I, I shrug at you. I'm like, "Well, you can't win them all, I guess. You don't need them yet." It's been a very, very long time since I haven't been able to convince someone of something with money. It's a very serious blow to my heart. Mm. It's, a, it's a truth of the world, I'm afraid. You will become more acquainted with it if you're unlucky enough. No, the problem was that we didn't throw enough money behind it. Well, I guess for these people, that's true. Don't worry, Mason. One day you'll come to believe that everything can be bought with money. One day. If ever I did, that's one. Okay. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Cool. So we tried that and failed. What about you, Morrison? What do you got next? Well, so I have just a couple of small things. Um, one of them is just finding out what happened to the dead dragons and why they were covered up. The other one is yeah. finding a weapon I can use to threaten the gods. So easy peasy. Just, just knock those out real quick. Yep, let's um, just fix that. So the Two rolls. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so I think the first thing would be... Um, First, can we do a strategy games test, please? As we're ah, Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> we can. Are we playing for fun or are we playing for sport? Who is this guy? Um, I think that's a question for you. How do you play when you play a game? Uh, you, when, I play, like when I play... When I play... No, when I play a game, I play for leisure. I uh, Mason is very much like a separation of when I want to win and when I'm chilling. Okay. So I think I'll just be rolling my strategy games as it is. Okay. Unmodified. Well, because I'm more engrossed in the conversation. One success. So we tie. You have a call on trade? Yeah. Uh, but I have faith, so I will spend that. 
Oh, yeah, we could do that as well. Nope. So call on trade. Uh, I I don't have a call on trade. I could use. Um, oh, let's see. I think I think I will use a trade actually because I believe that it would help me if I do so. So I would uh, I would break the tie in his favor. Um, in the same way I broke it against uh, against um, Demetrius back when he was Demetrius mm -hmm. uh, by using arrogant. So it's once again once again a case of me overextending and being like, yeah, I got this. And then, nope, it's oh. it just it's, it's not... literally the same move. It's literally the yeah. same move. And literally so... the same move. Yeah. But I, I, the reason I'm doing this is because this guy is a devil summoner. Uh, pride is totally like in, to to him. Pride is probably a virtue, not a sin. So yeah, he he likes your he he appreciates the the arrogance in a way. Um, it's like it's a bold move, but a losing one, and proceeds to like do this thing and tell you um, how that happens. Like oh, see, by by doing this, you left your other side open. Um, Quite right. Yeah. <laughs> well, what a delight. Bold moves are fun. Yeah. I don't make losing moves in life. So that's that's that. I I, I imagine. So you tell me, like, what's what's my relationship to this guy? Like over the span of a couple of days, he he feels like he's he's great company. Yeah. No, he's he's good company. Um, he's kind of he's interested in how much do you re you reveal to him what you're interested in? Uh, I I have already made my interest plainly clear. I I am being like Secrets I want these of the, of the castle and stuff. Or... Oh no, I don't tell him anything about that because that's yeah. not his. I will tell him that if he asks, uh, and even then I probably won't. But the point is, yeah, I've I've told him what I want from him. Right? I'm like, that's nice to have you here. It's lovely to have someone to talk to, someone who understands what it is to be gifted, uh, someone who who I can speak to as a person. And also, I want these things from you. Teach me how to call creatures in from the netherscape and uh, teach me how to trap them in circles of symbols. What's it? So just, uh, I feel like the sorcery test I did is what you wanted, uh, like what you needed of me to convince him to teach me. Yes, it was exactly. Like, so I think, cool. uh, I mean, is this actually an instructor test then? That you are uh, yeah I will take an instruct let's let's find out if we have the time for it what's his will um his will is six nice so it's four it's seven so can can we say like Swan's revelry is here to like span seven days or more I'm willing to say that takes a week all right yeah. cool so in that case we spend a week and he can make an instruct test setting up the various for... parties and whatnot yeah yeah okay. for um so let's see. This is going to be um, the op is different. The op is different here because this is not a simple. This is how you curtsy. Can you follow, my lady? Why can't yeah. the English teach their children how to speak? That's not what's going on any longer. No, this is this sorcery. Is, yeah, he's literally going to teach you sorcery. Yeah. So when you learn this jazz in particular, the op is it's summoning, right? Yeah, it's summoning. So. Uh okay. Up one, uh, plus three. Up four. Okay. Well, let's see if nine dice can do it for him. Sweet. I like this dude. I want to help. Can I mean this guy is not as bad as uh? Oh, sweet. Yeah. You didn't even take his. Uh, that's with taking time. Or uh, sorry, not with taking time. Um. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, yeah, he proceeds to tell you a little bit about um, summoning. So the count as count as a test for summoning, um, like basically the, the the simplest basics of of summoning, or not? So, I guess not the simplest parts, but the um, what you need to know to to advance summoning. Like here's yeah. here's the big thing that summoning builds on. Here's the here's so, the core game mechanic. You roll two d six and you add a stat to it. <laughs> no, I'm just but, um, so yeah, absolutely. I, I'll take it. So this is this is a big deal for Mason because uh, both like in in the world in the fiction and it's a big deal on the mechanical level because as of now I can make beginners luck tests with summoning. So now I can start doing it and we're, fucking it up. We're reality designers. Yeah. So immediately following that, what I would like to do uh, is to start having him teach me circulation. So over the course of the next seven days, I would like to try to learn something new in that circulation. Um, circulation. But yeah, 
Is that, that is that is the art of against the dark arts. That's exactly what it is. It is the art of calling and trapping creatures in symbols. Wow. Like so, drawing diagrams on the ground and so the on. The montage is literally Mason just like cutting their hand, making blood circles, fractal designs. And, actually and in, the book. in the background, it's just Swan like dancing at parties and people are all just like, ooh. ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's I don't see circonation as actually a thing. It's in the, it's in the codex. Of course it is. That's why I haven't seen it there. Okay. Oh my god. I could I can I can use sorcery without yeah. circulation. It's Umbra, just horrifyingly bad. Umbra got the even better part of my joke, so thank you, Umbra. I appreciate that immensely. That is that joke was powered by the apocalypse. Indeed. So circulation is the full metal alchemist skill. Not to do alchemy, just to make the aesthetic. That's okay. what that is. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. It's the art of making cool circles. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. So, uh, do you want like should we make that roll now and just uh, accept that it takes the span of seven days to do? Yeah, I think so. All that right. would make sense. It's... I would love to uh, help him out if I can in any way. I know that I could with Krushenko because it, he sucks. He I don't know if I can help out? him. Isn't he? Yes. He is. He is. Uh, I'm. I'm not sure I can do it. I just want to say if I can, I would like to. Uh, I could do it with Krushenko again because he sucks, but this guy seems very competent. So I don't know if I can add anything. I'll leave that in your capable GMing hands. Corruption. Walls of magic. Where is this? Where is this circo? Circonation. Uh, it is in Underspirit Binding. Oh, okay. That's why. Do, 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 do. Death Bart summoning. Domain bindings. Walls of service. Okay, well, anyways. I'll find it. Yeah. All right, so yeah, we're not going to spend any more time looking at that right now. Okay, so well, he's going to be, be able to help you. Um, the big question here is um, how bold do you want to be right now? What do you mean? How bold? I lied to you. It's in. Uh... Sorry, yeah, go on. What are you saying? How bold do you want this test to be right now? Is this just a basic? Is this just trying to open this right now? Yeah, this or is just meets a, a single test. Uh, yeah, I, th I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. That's is what. It, that's what we're going for. Is it also up for? Yeah. Okay. Trying to circle up a baby demon. Just try to contain a little baby demon, a little imp. Circulation is on page three twenty one. Yep. So let's try to make a little baby imp. And he, so he says something like, so this is one of the first things that we're, the, this is, this is one of the first advanced things they teach you in the academy. Awesome. Teach me, sensei. This guy's about to get Professor Lupus. You know, it's going to happen. So I think, so yeah, I think at this point he, um, so once again, it's, he's going to try to help you, right? So you're going to be the one actually making this test though. Uh, or, no, or he's the one no, making. He's instructing it. He's instructing. Yeah. It. So okay, cool. All right. So then he's learning like, before practice. Nine, six, yeah. So so he's like, so pay attention. I'm only going to do this once. As we have like the circle, um, you know, the various uh, chalked out lines and circle nations for the summoning. Mm -hmm. There we go. It. Perfect. Um, Sweet. So, so is this the first time you've communicated with something otherworldly like this? Like there was uh, no. Once before, uh, I saw a devil trapped in a bottle. Um, oh, that's right, that's right. But uh, that 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 is the, uh, and I have uh, like communicated like with the ethereal creatures in the uh, in the non marshes. Um, but sure. aside from that, but not there was not there was summoning circle. Yeah, because this is I think this is definitely more real. This is more tangible and physical. Uh, the smell, uh, you know, is probably the most poignant um, sense. Of what's going on right now, um, yeah, it smell obviously it smells like sulfur, um, just like overwhelmingly bad. Um, the candles proceed to burn black flame as the smoke uh, coalesces inside the circle. It can't leave the circle as the circle as the the smoke begins to almost like condensate, and and it forms this ripple of of black and and it almost turns. 
almost nauseatingly yellow and that's where that sulfur is coming from it like rips through reality and um from this smoke uh appears a a small imp um and so uh, the first thing it says and it's in in uh, it's the first time i is this your first time seeing a tiny devil I, I think I've seen, yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen them. I've seen illustrations of them. I know what to expect uh, in, in very loosely, right? I have yeah. only the vaguest ideas because I don't have demonology opened. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Literally so, just so what, shows up, so jazz of course hands, the first thing it says, top hat on. Um, your uh, snake meat, your rat, hisses immediately, mm. right? Uh, and uh, and the, um, the imp says like, who dare summon me? Get him, snake meat, wreck that fool. I, uh, yeah, I whisper I to Snake Meat. Looks to, looks to you. Hmm? I, I whisper to Snake Meat, like, chill, chill. It's going to be fine. And I like offer him to like crawl it's inside like, my ropes and be yeah, gone. And, and Snake Meat's like, I don't like the look of this. I'm mm. too old for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some shit, man. This is like a nom. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so yeah, uh, so your familiar hides as, as this is a demon. Um, I imagine it looks like a bloated baby. Um, it's with um like probably, the face of Igor yeah. from Persona. Give it a top hat. <laughs> no top hat, but um, na, 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 it's got two extra na, na. like, and it's like on its bloated stomach. It's got two little extra little arms. Um, it's got T Rex it. arms. Like, yeah, like the little T Rex arms on its stomach, as well as like larger arms. And you see, like it's like constantly scratching and like picking at scabs on it. Um, and so as uh, a, as the thing looks to me. Yeah. I say that the uh, I, I say the person who has summoned you is, and I say the full name and title of uh, of my my teacher. You are speaking yeah. to Mason of the Order of the Nathesian Eye. Be grateful, creature. Mason. 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 He's like, look, he's clearly like thinking recalling anything about any mason that he would know right hmm. mm -hmm. what, what order did you say you were nathesian it doesn't matter to you creature oh but it does it does mm -hmm. and it's just it constantly is thinking and uh you will notice you are trapped here what will you pay for your freedom I looked. Uh, I yeah, imagine like I've been told. I imagine it, I'm not. I'm not saying this. I'm repeating words he has taught me to say. Right? Like yeah, you have to play yeah, hardball with these, these, are all the these th things. Yeah, of course, right? Um, Don't show weakness. Yeah. So I think the first thing it says, it says, "You know that the circles stop my wishes, anyways. What kind of? Bo I can't grant any boon from within that circle." That sounds reasonable. Just erase it right now. Once the contract has been forged, I say, and I, I like, I do a double take where I like look over to to uh, Bobo, and I'm like, yeah, I remember what I'm supposed to say here. Once the contract is forged, the circle will vanish. Uh, we once the contract is forged, we will break the circle, and you will be bound to do as instructed. Is that a lie? Now stop dilly dallying. That's not a lie, right? Uh, I don't think so. No, that's how it works. Uh, except he's he's basically the one who has to do the hackling. I'm just. I'm just doing this as like kind of this is my training, right? I'm being like, we we say it like this. This is how it's gonna work, and then eventually he he's gonna take over because he summoned it and it's tied to his soul. Yeah. So uh, I'm 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 just you know working working out. Okay. Yeah. So what will you pay for your freedom, creature of the first layer? Hmm, that's a very good question. I'm not sure what he would actually pay for his freedom. Um, what are you looking for? Because I feel like he would know something that you want based on. Yeah, maybe he could like not asking you, right? Like he yeah, would know something that you're interested in. So what is that? They're creepily, uh, like creepily uh, insightful such creatures. So exactly yeah. right. Like he he picked up on something immediately, but I just don't know what that is. So what is it? Uh, it's totally related to my first belief, right? It's oh, um, yeah. it's the, about the, finding the, out why why corals uh, oh, why corals dragons oh, was covered up. Oh, I know what he does. He transforms himself into the shape of an old, uh, de meant a deformed baby dragon, right? He mm? says, oh, you probably want to know where these things went, don't you? I can't, so, again, I bite my tongue as thing. I like. Look at that, like your necklace or what? Like he spotted your necklace again, right? 
That's mm-hmm. the thing they saw. It's like, yes, yes, you probably want to know what happened to these. You're an insightful creature. I expected no less. You're right. So, can you give me what I want? Or will you remain bound here in perpetuity? I say, and I double take and like, tells this you, is playing. No, he, he says, I don't know what it is, but I know how to find it. I know where it is. The answer you seek is in another contract. Clever. Let me go. Resummon, if you wish, and I would have that information. I look to I look to uh, Bobo to be like, is this right? Because now now we're at a point where Bobo, yeah, I, Bo- I, I, yeah. I no longer know right. This is Bobo says. Well, hmm, I'm not sure if Bobo knows if this is truth or not, but it is knowledge. He 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 is a Diabloist, so he knows though that the uh, double uh, devils themselves keep copies of the contracts um, in an archive somewhere in hell, right? Sweet. And so if there if this is if there is knowledge, there's a library from, with no beginning and no end. Exactly. Right. So if there was knowledge given from a contract somewhere about a deal of some kind, which he says there is, but obviously this devil just doesn't know what it is per se. Unless sure. unless we want to stop no, imps don't. I imagine there are certain devils. There are specific devils that are basically like librarians that have every contract yeah. ever memorized. There are in, in Pathfinder and Galarian, so yeah. That's right. probably the case. So I imagine, I imagine a dem- like a contract devil. Of some kind. So the thing, the thing about this is, as so, far as as far yeah. as I understand the fiction of summoning, he like the fa- if he's lying to me, it doesn't matter because he can't establish the contract if it's not true, right? He has to offer a service that he can provide. So yeah. if he says I can do this, that means that he can do it. What I'm looking to my master, uh, like my, not my master, but my teacher to do is like oh, um, master. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's face yeah. it. But I, I look to Bobo to basically be like take over here because he's offering me what I want, but you're the one who has to do the negotiation yeah, now because he because yeah. he's the one paying the price ultimately. Okay. So okay, okay, and, and I just like leave him to do that. Does he care? I think I think I think what um I think what Bobo wants to know is um if Boba wants to know. How badly do you want this information? Are you uh, yeah, he'd probably he... ask you, like, are you sure you want to do this now? All right? Like, we can always do this some other time. Oh, this is the co- end of the tutorial of Burning Crowns, right? He's mm-hmm. like, are you ready to move to the next session? If you hit yes. You're no, ready to move on say, to the no, stage of the game. Where... You, do you want to go down this this rabbit hole of having your first like be associated with the demonic contract? You want like all that like or or is this good? Yeah, right exactly. Now? It's the end of the tutorial for summoning. Yeah, he what what, what he's ready. saying is like, are, are we are we doing this? Yeah. If I want to then the, conjure up this creature again, I would have to form an, an affiliation with Bobo, hell. Exactly, exactly. And so he looks at you and being like, this is kind of the point of no return. This is crossing the Rubicon. Uh, mm, you know? yeah. And so he's like, are you ready? Is this something that we want to do? I look to him and I ask, are, am I ready? Um. He he smirks and he says, "I'm oh, sorry, I have a cat fur. It's made my nose so itchy." Um, he mentions, uh, "Do you only what? What did you say when we were there playing a game? You only make bold moves in life." What was it? Yeah, you said? yeah. Uh, I I don't I don't make losing moves in life. Yeah. Um, he looks at you and says, uh, "You don't make losing moves in life, right?" You're right. Make the deal. I will make sure. I, I will form the appropriate ritual with Hell when I'm ready to hear what he has to say. So so Bubba begins talking in um, Infernal, which I imagine sounds like... Uh, Black speech from Lord of the Rings? German. It just sounds German. <laughs> uh, I was... Yeah, um, I was I was kind of thinking it actually would sound almost like... Yeah, just guttural. Um, it's almost just like breathing uh, in... in, in, in various tenors and 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 our uh, timbers and and tone and uh just like deep like uh, yeah like it sounds like it just sound like e- evil throat singing yeah it sounds like evil throat singing um which actually would make kind of sense with these singing earlier um totally that's that's kind of what it is and um sweet 
yeah the the devil is listening and listening it's nodding and you hear it bark back um a couple times negotiating these things back and forth and um does the contract write itself how do you think how do you think this works I think uh, so. The, the way we see this is uh, we we have like he has the conversation with the creature, and because devils are like bureaucrats and stick and sticklers for like uh, you know like the militant meritocracy of the netherscape, uh, it's like definitely like an actual thing that appears. It's like uh, the the Ursula contract, right? It's like this piece of parchment that appears out yeah, of nowhere, okay, and then yeah. you write on it, and like blood red letters appear. Yeah. Be it so known that the bearer of this blah blah blah, you know. Yeah, uh, drowned in legalese, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so on conditions of returning, um, boy, I have to come up with a good devil name. Um, Avaxiel. I was actually gonna go with something like more, like like a I like I like the Stricka. I, I, I was like I was thinking about going with the idea of like this one's called like two of clubs or like something like or at least that's like the closest thing it could be translated to common yeah so uh, a, a, a good like a good card. point about uh, a good point about like so summon creatures so, yeah summon about. creatures have true names um yeah. but they also but because those have power over them um yeah. they also have a bunch of names they're known by so this guy yeah. could be like i am th yeah, the mad hatter and yeah then... the slight of no uh, the slight annoyance the um yeah, <laughs> the mosquito bite that doesn't go away is pro actually probably his name. I like that name. The perpetual the, itch. Yeah, the perpetual itch is is the this this one's name. I like that a lot, actually. That's good. Yeah, the perpetual itch. Um, All right. Yeah. So or, once or, once or the, crotch fire. <laughs> <laughs> once the thing uh, vanishes in a gout of flame or whatever it does. Yeah. Um, I look to my uh, my teacher appreciatively, and I thank him for his instruction. Uh, and I, I bid my farewell, uh, for I have things to do, uh, things to ponder, and preparations to make. Yeah, he nods. Um, what you don't see, mm -hmm. but I want to bring light to this. Yeah, when is... when I leave, and the camera yeah. lingers on the scene. You see that he, while you think that it was bound to his soul. Mm -hmm. He's actually was using the um, soul of the cadaver of that person. And oh, that is. Uh, no, person. I want to see that. Oh, damn it. But you don't. You don't get to see that. That's what uh, he's actually did. Um, out. I think. Check I think out. what we see. No, I think what we see is. Um, you know, like he's done and he's cleaning up and stuff like that. He's like, oh, okay. That was easy. He takes off a ring, and the ring is fashioned in the shape of that um, Gazra gallbladder stone or whatever mm. like, from that person, and he puts it down. Um, only now it's maybe like blackened or something like that. Like it's an HR Giga ring. Yeah, he he barters with yeah other like just cadavers and of, of like people. Like basically, he he's soul trading. Yeah, he's sold. Yeah, that's, he's literally soul trading. That's awesome. I I am so into that. Because why would he put his own life on the line or anything? Yeah, like that? why? But he doesn't tell you that, right? But, no, um, it's it's that's... so ironically, ironically, this is actually something Mason assumes. So oh, okay. he's like, I have to be secret about this. But Mason is like, in my future, this is going to be a thing. Yep. <laughs> just, but that's just we don't we don't get to appreciate that as the viewers of that scene. It's just like a thing I want to bring light to. Is that Mason is aware that the price of your soul is totally a, and other souls of others is totally a thing you can bargain with when summoning. Yeah, and um, I think we see like wrapping up. Do you no? Actually, no. I don't think we have another vision yet. I, I would like to. I want to form an affiliation. Okay. With. Hell. That's reasonable. That's pretty reasonable. All right, so um, it's just something one does, you know. Yep. Go out for parties, drink blood. Hashtag Sorcerer Tuesday. So it's a um, a one die affiliation. It is a it. it is what is known as an order in this case. Um, that is spe it's special lingo for um, for affiliations with uh, with uh, planar entities. Okay. Um, 
I I am already as a as a human sorcerer affiliated with the orders of the restless dead and the sanctified dead. Um, but I uh, I now want to extend that to uh, to also join um, to also be affiliated with the order of hell. Okay. Uh, let's see how to do this. Starting a starting affiliation. Start as a not pure nothing. Um, and then I know it's an odd three test for one for a regular one. So yeah, there we go. Joining new order to join a new order, you must do one of two things: either you must pay a price, uh, pay the price uh, of the order, or submit to a geese. Um, and I figure I'm gonna pay the price. So let's see what the price of the order is. Uh, is the offering. Uh, this is on page three three four. Is that uh, in the codex? Yeah. The summoner gathers the price, pronounces his holy or mystic binding to the order, and then makes his payment. No test required to make the to make the payment. If the price is paid, the summoner gets the journeyman rank in that order. If the order offers multiple price options, start with the lowest price. And right, let's find the price. Paying the price of an order. If uh, if an order has a single price listed, an appropriate iteration of that category must be paid. So the question is: Is the price of an order of hell your own soul? No, the uh, the price is literally like it's monetary. It's uh, f um, gaining the order is not me. I, I can be affiliated with both hell and heaven, uh, with earth and spirit. Okay. Uh, the, so it's the, the thing I'm doing is uh, the thing I'm doing is I am. Uh, I am buying like uh, ritual ingredients, incense, um, a, a black cloth uh, with a red pentagram on it, and like gotcha. all, all the stuff I would need for creating a like a important ceremony in which I uh, get branded with the yeah. mark of hell, yeah. uh, and then I can I can channel through it. Okay, so, you have so to I just need right to find there. the price. You have to go find the infernal outfitters. Yeah. Okay. I just need to find the price because I don't. Of course, like the moment I need this, I'm just skipping by it. Maybe, maybe take a look at uh, AP while I do this because I need uh, to this find. This I mean, summoning mm -hmm. obstacles is on page 326. I don't know if that's exactly what you're looking for, but it lists the price like tribute, possession, physical mark. Uh, you're doing the lowest possible order. Yep. Uh, is tribute, which I think is you need to make a shrine. That's the uh, one. Commission a shrine, a work of art, recover a lost artifact, or fund a thousand rites spoken to the patron gods. The obstacle of the resources test is equal to the obstacle of the order of the creature. Uh, right, so that's fine. The obstacle You need to make an of free resources test. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I I feel like uh, in in my greed, I'm just gonna like go and ask Swan for money to buy hell things. Um, I hope you put it exactly like that. Yep. Let's see. Actually, I might be able to pay for this myself. I mean, mm. no matter I what happens love... here, you'll be you'll be paying for it yourself. One I would love if you take like a loan or something like that. No, yeah, I think I think what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna go From to Avatar. you and I'm gonna. <laughs> Uh, is is uh, is Swan receptive to me being like I need to buy some spell components and some reagents and ritual stuff? Swan has already paid you for this month. A bonus. Yeah. After well, so... you nearly burned him to death. Yeah, well, that's, let's that's... have this conversation where you come back to Swan and ask for more money. That's my reparations, right? Like that's that's what you owe me. Reparations. Yeah, you caused me mental trauma, man. You jumped into no. my fire. Nope, that money was so that you could get trained. All right. Well, whatever. What you believe and what I believe are th so thoroughly at odds. Yeah. So th this is for Mason. This is simple, right? I I arrive. I come to you and I'm like, um, like I just ask you if you are willing to like, uh, fork over some, uh, like uh, flex your your resources so I can uh, so I can purchase some stuff I need from some of the more expensive and esoteric vendors. Uh, and Swan's just listening to you, and he says, "That sounds like sorcery talk." I nod. Yes, it's ritualistic. It's in order to, it's it's for the safety of the realm. Hmm. I believe we have a very specific agreement about sorcery, one that we've recently reissued. 
if you remember correctly, uh, Ronald, I asked you in the, is it is a feature in our original contract that you would be receptive to my calls uh, when I uh, call you for help, uh, financial help in chasing Indeed. my craft. Uh, part of that reception was that I would have no part in it and I have already paid you, Mason. So I would ask, what specifically are you overflowing in an abundance of money for? Come again? What is it you wish to purchase? Reagents for contact with the other planes. Contact with the other planes? Yes, I wish to ask some spirits. Don't 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 look at me like that. Yes, that is a thing I can do. Immediately, immediately, he uh, Swan is like, "Are you still working with the Queen to summon devils?" After you told me that the Queen was summoning devils, the Queen. Uh, so at this point, Mason like stops being like, "I have places to go," and sits down and seems like they're committed to have a conversation with you. You're about yes. to mansplain devil summoning yeah, to me. Exactly. Listen, uh, Ronald. Natala is still going through with this. My God, are you serious? You, have... you had me break off a relationship with this woman, and now you're doing exactly what you accused her of. No. And you want not... me to pay for it. You need to listen up because that's not what I said. Oh, so I'm listening. Take, take, the, take the money out of your ears for a moment and listen to what I'm saying. I'm telling you Natala is still going through with it. And that also means that she's still pressuring me to keep doing it. Now, whatever you did is not sufficient. If she told you that she was going to stop doing it, she has lied to you. Well, if you are being pressured by the queen, then go to the queen for resources. I would. I would. Except I don't want to be indebted to her. I don't know that you know this, but I have never intended to summon a devil for her. I have always pledged to help her, and my intention was always to do so by denying her the things she wanted. Yes, I understand. I don't know that now. you. I, and you I, will I look summon at you. devils to keep her from summoning devils. Yes, you have truly no, I, shown me the strength of your rhetoric here today. You're Mason. not. You're not listening to me. It's I know not that what I'm not listening you. to you. I'm simply reading between the lines. What do you think you're seeing between the lines, Ronald? I think I'm seeing a sorcerer that I just accused of dark sorcery and gathering too much addictive power, suddenly deciding that they want to create a wormhole to the devil planes and do a talk to them. Who has said anything about hell? Well, technically I did, just now. Yeah, that's true, you did. Good for you. That's I not have what I'm talking. drawn the conclusion that you... A person who has spoken of devil summoning in the past and who is working with the queen towards devil summoning have come to me asking about summoning. You will I'll recall probably... that you found me trapped in a tower, locked in there, and that you had to extract me from within. Working with the queen is not the words I would use. Working for <laughs> would be... Yeah. So with Swan, uh, Swan is hugely opposed to this. Yeah. If your Arcanuk research was helping the world in some way or benefiting me, I would certainly be more willing to fund it. But it to, summon, to summon anything that is not an angel or an entity of a god is truly a horrifying mistake, and I will have no part in it. There will be no legacy beside my name that says brought Balder Dash the immolator of cities into the middle of the capital. Interestingly, I think Balder Dash the immolator of cities is a children's rhyme. The point is that so we, are not, laughing. <laughs> we are not speaking of the same thing. If you will not fund my research, then so be it. But fear not, because there is nothing to worry about. I'm I am not helping... I'm not helping the top with this. Swat's literally just like, I am so worried right now. I have never been more concerned Look, in my entire Ronald. life. <laughs> Look, Ronald, okay? Listen up for a moment. I'm just informing you that your former paramour, if she has told you she has stopped summoning devils or wanting to summon devils, she is didn't lying agree to, you. to that. 
She didn't, which is why I'm concerned that you are. Well, that's none of your business. The point is I'm not summoning you devils from a You came here to ask me to dip money to summon things. This is yeah. exactly my business, and I will have no part in it. Swan is the one Gandalfing you now. <laughs> like, he's standing up, and he's just... Aah! Yeah. It's okay. I, I put I put my hand, like, on your wrist. I'm like, calm down. It's okay. I understand. Calm down! I was calm when you came and told me you nearly burned me to death. I was calm when I had to apologize to several citizens whose children had been killed. But you come to me asking for money to fund devil research and summoning? You're I am still the not only calm, one, Mason. I am still the, the only one talking calm. about devils. It doesn't matter what you're summoning. It's all wrong. No, it's not. You should throw yourself on the mercy of the gods. I will have no part of this. I have, lo I have long, I have long since given up on the mercy of the gods. A foolish mistake. No. Yeah, I don't, really don't think the chosen one of Avatar should be funding devil stuff. So that's exactly. Good. That's fine. It's okay, Ronald. I, I won't gonna, ask I you to do this that. if you don't feel comfortable with it. In truth, you can't understand what it is I'm doing. I'm just, wa I just want to assuage your worries. I will not be assisting Natala in her endeavors. Should you ever wish to return to her, you will not find a devil on her shoulder on my account. Uh. Swan literally I say this as if I'm like I'm telling you something yeah. that in in Mason's perspective should make you happy right I'm like don't yeah, chill I'm it. looking out for your gear I'm looking out for GF as a response I'm pulling out a piece of paper I am getting a ink and quill and I'm writing a giant x on it and I'm handing it to you <laughs> this is not your signature I can't use this yes it's called an x card <laughs> because this idea is so terrible we need to axe it immediately <laughs> <laughs> I you're cannot a you're in a any way soul. stress how bad of an idea summoning anything into the city is or ever at all you're wrong but that's okay because you don't know what you're talking about summoning is a high priced art form if you you've never if, spoken if of my, summoning before this I know. is something new that you are learning I have recently mastered the elementary steps my God! When when my order you was are a child trying to tell me that in your first novice steps you know what you're doing. I do. You walk down a doomed path, Mason. There and will be what exactly prices. do you believe you can teach me about summoning? You who do not even understand what you're talking about. You call There's me a, a child, but you would Christ. You would call yourself an authority figure on my craft. Get a grip. You merely try to superimpose your own moral values. I understand what you're doing, but you don't understand what I am doing. It's I a do simple not matter, hear Swan. You anymore, Mason. And Swan like takes his chair and turns it around so he can't see Mason anymore. We're I, done. I, uh, I take my leave, and I like I, I do it in a way where I'm like I'm kind of patronizing about it, but it's it's in a non-offensive way. Right? I'm like just tapping your shoulder and being like, "I got your buddy," and then I leave. So I uh, I go to buy this on my own. I can't get any help from this guy. Didn't seem likely it was going to happen. I mean, who knows, right? So uh, a who lot of knows? The... I I didn't count on the like you're summoning hell. No, I'm just talking about spirits. Hell. Yeah. Well, regardless, this is bad news, right? Yeah. It's terrible so, news. Let's do this. So I'm I mean, going you can be to be like, I don't know. I'm going to summon the spirit of the water. And I'm like, but I use that water. I use yeah. it to move ships around. I don't want the water to be mad. Wouldn't you be happy then if you could ask the water to, you know, like give yeah, a that'd current? Be great. Right up until the water was like, oh, yeah, we got a price to pay. Your soul. Well, oh, that's my right. that's my end of the bargain, right? That's why yeah, you have a specialist Swan instead of fumbling. I know that, man. I know because you Swan never just listen. Knows about dark sorcery, man. No, you don't. You never know about no, anything no. you're talking about. Swan knows a lot about dark sorcery. His family has taught him a lot. Basically, yeah, you definitely. Kill all wizards. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, let's do this. So I need I need to get these materials. Um, so I I can uh, form a contract or not a contract. I can form yeah. an affiliation. An affiliation, yeah. Uh, I am going to make a resource test here. I'm going to mm -hmm. take my time doing so because Lord knows this is not a rush thing. Um, I'm going to use my fund and I'm going to throw a couple of cash die in there and 
why not also throw an author in there for good measure? See what's up. All right, let's go. Survey says, got it. Nice. nice. So my, to my, uh, my resources increased to four. Nice. And so you were able to um, find your, your occultish supplies. Yeah. So um, over the course of a bit of time, Mason basically like walks around in the city. This is like the compilation series of shot of Mason walking around hooded and cloaked, buying things from vendors of ill repute and like exchanging coin for little boxes of skulls with emeralds in their eyes and so on. Um, and it all basically culminates in in uh, in a, a scene of Mason sitting in four lotus in the uh, fourth the fourth floor of the North Tower, uh, all on their own. Like there, there's no one there. Uh, they very deliberately like just like isolated themselves. Uh, and on the the huge empty circular floor has been has been drawn a uh, a circular diagram with a uh, with a, a, a five pointed star inside it made of powdered silver. Um, and as they sit there, there's like the, uh, a couple of bowls surrounding them at cardinal points, each of them smoking with incense, so, uh, one of them uh, burning with, uh, with boiling mercury that has a little like geode sitting in it. Okay. Uh, and the smoke rising off like changes color and hue as they sit there um, uh, chanting to themselves. And they do this like uh, low guttural uh, throat singing, e evil throat singing chant, not because they understand infernal, but because they know the, the words, right? They memorize the sounds. Um, bad. As they, uh, as they call up uh, the powers infernal, uh, reaching through the seven layers, uh, calling into the first layer of hell, calling into Avernus, breaching the infernal gates and summoning up the powers of hell uh, to, to form a bond, uh, to, to join the order, making it so that they now possess the power to manipulate and control the powers of hell uh, and call its servants to do their bidding. So this leaves you marked, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do the same with the order of heaven at some point, but what it's all your... a matter of basically like having the weapons to fight the war, right? Yeah. But what does your mark look like? Um, do you have any input on that? Uh, because I do. Well, not exactly. What are you, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking it's basically like, uh, what you would imagine. Like there's no, it's nothing, there's you're, nothing I mean, ceremonious about not it. It's not marked yet. Uh, that's not until you get really high up. I mean, that's like, uh, major corporeal entities. Oh yeah. I think you're right about that. Yeah, that so the, the thing the in this service. I think I I don't remember I for some reason I want the the fact that I'm joining an order to leave a visible mark on my person. I feel like okay. that's a thing, but I'm not sure. I, I mean, a mark is definitely uh, not a visible thing in that regard. It's like maybe it's visible via second sight. That might like be that it. One. Yeah, I mean, a mark is specifically uh, it can never go away and is used to identify yourself. That makes sense. Uh, and All right, so infamous. So why don't we say that um, that the, the mark we're talking about here, because for some reason I want this to be a thing, I don't know why it's in, stuck in my mind, uh, is like immaterial. It's a, it's a bond that shows that I have formed the compact with hell, uh, that I am affiliated with that order. And the way we see that is, uh, as Mason is sitting in full lotus, as they do this, as they do the chant, as there's a fire and dust seems to rise from the floor around them, and the entire room is cast in a reddish light, they, they start to hover off the ground, uh, until they reach an altitude where their legs just like kind of fall down under them and they're no longer uh, sitting in the position. They're like just hovering in place. And the smoke that is rising from these burning, uh, these burning bowls coalesces and like forms into this single stream that then like just dives directly into their chest, forming this like glowing pentacle uh, of reddish light just shining out of, uh, shining out of their body. And then... Uh, it mutes and disappears from, from our sight as it enters the world of the spiritual and becomes non-visual. Shit. Cool. And it's a, of naturally accompanied by a mixture of like the giggling of imps, the, uh, the a heavy baritone cackling of pit fiends, and the screams of souls. Ugh, what a great chorus. <laughs> yeah. Cool. What an infernal chorus. Take it. So this makes me a journeyman. I believe, yeah, a journeyman level. Journeyman uh, the restless dead. Yeah. 
So I, I'm, a, I'm a journeyman of the restless dead. I'm a journeyman of the sanctified dead. And now I'm also a journeyman of the order of hell. So I'm going to slap that onto my character sheet. I mean, I think it's the restless dead of hell. No, the restless dead are are a category on its own. Uh, it's uh, bodies that have been laid to rest but haven't been uh, haven't been given proper burial. Uh, zombies and ghasts and revenants. The sanctified dead are those we love who have passed on, um, like that you call back into existence again. Hell is literally the step below that. It's the next order. Is there is no such thing as the uh, sanctified dead of hell or heaven. They're a category on their own. Okay. All right, and that's probably the last thing we see then today. I'll take it. All right, let's get ready to do some experience, boys. And uh, just for uh, for like good measure, I'll make sure we get everything right uh, before next session, and I'll I'll uh, PM you, Eric. Okay. Uh, so just real quick, in order to summon imps, uh, specifically, you need to be at least an ob eight corporeal spirit, and you have to take a physical. Uh, you have to sacrifice some part of yourself in order yep. to do it. Yep. All right. Just making sure when you try to summon little imp boy back again, going to need to Odin up an eye. Yep. I know. Don't worry about it. I got this. Okay. All right. Just making sure. Just making sure. All right. I'd hate for you to not lose an eye. Don't worry. I'll probably be trading in the soul instead. Yeah. Beliefs and instincts. All right. Do we hit our, uh, let's start with uh, ca- our, our marquee now. Marquis Roland Swan. I know, Marquis. I know, it's going to be hard breaking out of that Count Ronald yeah. Swan. I went to look for Count Ronald Swan on the character list after I closed the sheet by accident, and I was like, where the fuck is Count Ronald Swan? Yeah. Uh, it was rough. All right, uh, I think I got Persona for the culmination of events that have led my life to this moment. The chosen one of Abadar receives a holy charter to start a new empire. I must receive this before my court sabotages the effort. Um, yes. Yes. yes, All right. Uh, I think I have fate for it is time to begin the machine of industry that will guide our new country. It'll create a business that will fund the area. Uh, The important part was that I gained guardians. I haven't quite gotten around to getting the logistics done. Yeah, you're working towards it. Uh, And I think I get fate for this, the pro guardian house meeting, uh, because I didn't actually do it. One way or another, that belief is going away, though. Mm-hmm. But then also, then, I am responsible for the people. Do you? Think yeah, I feel like I I got that right at the, the beginning Mibanese? of the session with the. Oh, I thought I got it for the accounting role. Oh yeah, but sure. yeah, 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 yeah. The accounting role makes more sense. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I definitely want to take Imperius for for altering the course of events with Mason, specifically, and just being like, listen, I'm not going to fund Devil Summoning. It's not going to happen. I know we, we never have, talked about that. I know <laughs> we have so. I mean, listen, I was I would like, think you would you're about to summon devils, and you're like, I didn't say anything about devils. Ten minutes later, you're summoning devils. Okay. I'm not summoning devils. You literally just boob a doo, Bob. Boob a doo, ba doo. It's boob a doo. Pretty close. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of accusations you... going on here that are, that's based on nothing. Okay. You could so, say that, but I see the truth in your lies. I know. I'm not sure. So I, I, I'm not sure Imperius is the treat for that. It's where I thought I'd be chosen one. Being like, ain't no chosen one doing I'll giving take it. money for devil devil. I'll take it. Again, I, I just want to bring like put a put a point on this. Like the devil comment in that conversation happened for no reason. Like right? it wasn't brought up by anyone who wasn't Swan. I know. Swan brought it up because he assumed it had something to do with Natala. Mm? Yeah. yeah, just saying, like, and I ain't gonna fund no to devil summoning. That. That's cool because we're not talking about that. That's fine. I don't want you summoning anything. That's, don't worry, I will. That's fair. Specifically yeah. devils. A lot of... I'm gonna start out doing the restless dead. Don't worry. My Zombies first. My god! Let them Mason. sleep, man! They're dead! Mason, I believe yep. you got uh, fate for your first belief. Thank you. I'll take it. Um... Let's see about the raven. Nothing. Uh, definitely got at least fate for the third one. Yep, I'll absolutely take that. So I need to uh, magical I, prowess. Yep. Uh, 
Does it count as trouble to be affiliated with hell? <laughs> I don't feel I don't feel like it does, no. but I will leave it to you. No. All right. Wow! Can't believe that answer. Okay, all right. That's where we're going. Not yet. Is the better you don't un- you don't understand? I'm gifted. If I wasn't gifted, this would be trouble. But this these guys aren't like a a, a yoke for me. These guys are a weapon. Um, I just upgraded, dude. All right. So I don't think any. Yeah, I, I totally. I'll take for my. Uh, I'll take fate for my arrogant because I broke a tie against myself with it. Yes, definitely, 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 definitely. Thank you for reminding me about that one. You're welcome. I don't think I was drunk this session. I need to deal with that. Maybe when I start summoning, I'll start drinking. That's a good combination. That's a yep. terrible, terrible idea. I think All what you mean to say is that's an Arthur idea. I mean, that's a great way to burn the city down some more. Sure, why not? I mean, I'll I'll burn the city down for a deep point if that's what it Leave takes. Leave the city better. <laughs> Leave the city in a better I think that, no, you found I don't it. think you get a deeds point for fire. burning the city down. You would you get deeds point for not burning the city down at this point. I mean, that depends uh, on what my expectations okay. are. But yeah, I get you. Um, I'll save you by burning you with demonic fire. Anyone yeah, with gotcha. embodiment or um, let's see. Yeah, embodiment's the one. Laughter. What's the other one that comes up at the end of the session again? Uh, embodiment, humor, uh, right Work skill, right time. Yeah. Oh, right skill, right time was the last one I was thinking of. Um, I feel like uh, I. So this is not really a case of like the campaign couldn't move forward. So I don't think it's appropriate. But I, I, I would just like to briefly honor uh, Ronald's magnificent administration check that made his uh, his uh, efforts at making a better Brevoy actually work. Yeah, definitely. You, you, and your um. Then in your cash fund, you had some pretty good rolls today. Is there some fate? Is that fate? Uh, unfortunately, not. Uh, no. What is it then? It's just happy feelings from me. Enjoy. Oh, yep. Well, fine. No, that's fine. Um, uh, then maybe maybe nobody gets a reward for that this week. Not fine. Uh, I don't know if it's fair to do that. Like, it seems like kind of jerking yourself up. I kind of want to nominate myself for embodiment uh, for the breakdown. Well, I don't know if you agree with that. My God. Nobody got mold breaker today. Um, so, okay. So you want em- you want embodiment? I I would like to nominate myself for it. I want to bring up that I enjoyed playing that uh, that breakdown, and I don't know if it was enjoyable to be a part of. So I just mentioned it. Um. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, dude? You you decided. Your character is going to summon a devil, right? That you're going down this road, and you. This is such an important part because it's not like you want you want to be an infernal or a diabolist. It's just that you want to use any power at your disposal, um, good or bad, like you know, heaven or hell and stuff. And I think it's a big part of your character. In my in my mind's eye, had we been playing that. Pathfinder, the Nathesian I would have been a true neutral order. Right, it's ah. it's not about the taking of sides. It's about using the tools to maintain balance. Is it Nethys, the god that went crazy? Nethys is the god that went. Uh, he he became uh, he became a god from knowing everything that made him a yeah. god. Um, he's also interestingly the he is the one god in all of Pathfinder. Tip for you, Pathfinder aficionados out there, if you're playing. He's the one god that has a mechanical benefit of worshipping. So if you are ever being like, I want to min-max everything about my character, worship Nethys. Because where other people cast a spell that lets them talk to gods, their gods will be like, you see a peach tree in the far distance lit by a green sun as it settles into a sea of ink. And Nethys will be like, uh, the treasure is southeast by about 200 meters. Also, you suck. Goodbye. <laughs> Nethys will give you straight answers if you do any, like, mystical mumbo-jumbo, tell me the answer, daddy. Uh, but he'll just shout at you while you ask. Oh, wow. Okay, it's actually really good to know. Um, cool. Ronald, Ronald Swan. Yo. Played by AP Gaming Real. It's true. Um, hey, how's your amazing shows going on over at twitch.tv slash AP Gaming Real? They're okay. Like, your award-winning tabletop role-playing game extravaganza. Winter's Edge 2. What award has it won? My Heart Award. <laughs> oh. Well, La, I'll tell you what. Da, da. When it gets awards like uh, Indie Game of the Year 2017, like award-winning 
designers John Harper and Adam Coble. I'll let you know. Uh, okay. But some somehow I don't feel like that's going to happen because it's just D and D five E with some Pathfinder. Uh, we've got masks in a couple hours where we're playing in the world of Overwatch, and then tomorrow night we have a new show where it's uh, it's not specifically Burning Wheel, but tomorrow night it's going to be Burning Wheel. Uh, with Ikumag and our artist and resident Erosido is going to be speed sketching scenes. Uh, so we're going to be on creative, just making art. Cool. That sounds awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's so really I'm going to cool. try to, if it works, if it works, I'm going to rotate through artists and players and systems. And it's called On the Table's Top. So premiere hmm. test episode tomorrow night. Uh, where and when? Well, I mean, it sounds like it's at twitch.tv slash apgamingreal at 8 o'clock Eastern. Ah, twitch.tv slash apgamingreal. I feel like my hair has been terrible all episode. I've been like constantly adjusting my beard, my hair, and my mustache. And I'm just like, I'm touching my face all episode. I'm, see, I made the bad habit of picking up my cat. And since then, just my face has been like... Ah! <laughs> so, yeah. Cool. I forgot to open a window before we started this, and because I'm dumb enough not to just go over and fucking open it, I've been slowly roasting. Yeah. Uh, Hashtag 420. Right. Um, you just hotbox yourself. Yep. But you're not in the fun way, unfortunately. You're in your streamer. That's fucking true, I am. I'm sorry I swore on your stream. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true, I am. As of this week, I, I made my New Year's, New Year's resolution, I started streaming. Uh, the, it was really fun. I was super nervous for the first 30 minutes, and it was like, I'm just playing a game and having fun. And there are people in the chat. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah. It was hella sweet. Uh, just for uh, it, in case you're interested, uh, I'll be playing some more, of course. I'll be continuing the current play I'm doing. I'm playing Morrowind. Uh, m modded to hell Morrowind. Uh, At very, very modded. Twitch.tv slash Niren. That's absolutely true. Twitch.tv slash Niren. Uh, we're playing... Um, uh, we're playing uh, with uh, the Morrowind graphics and sounds overhaul and with Tamriel rebuild installed. So we have the entire Sacred East to go nuts in. Um, wow. It's pretty awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That is, that is it's just really having cool. fun. I need to check that out. What time do you normally stream? I don't have a schedule yet. I'll make one okay. because I just realized I'm like, I was just sitting down and streaming. And then one of my friends was like, you know, if people should be tuning in for this, shouldn't you be like having a schedule? I was like, shit. Streaming that's is complicated. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> right. Cool. Yeah, that's definitely so, something yeah. you got to do. I'll figure stuff out, but there'll be more Morrowind in the future, and I'll I'll be looking into some more games also. But I just wanted to start with Morrowind because I was comfortable with it, you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And um, cool. And you guys can join me in a couple hours over at twitch.tv slash Henley, uh, where we're going to be playing some more Mouse Guard, uh, Whiskers and Whiskey. Sounds delightful. So that's fun. I like that game. Is it high noon yet? Yeah, with uh, with uh, Kika and Mathematic and Henley as players, and I'm GMing it. So I'm going to go rest my brain for two hours, and then I'll be back on, ready to play that game. So that's it for us today, guys. Uh, this is Burning Crowns, long episode today, which is good. Um, I definitely know there's definitely a difference between playing a game for three hours and playing a game for four hours for myself, which is interesting. I'm learning. But um, all right, guys. Uh, take care, everyone. Have a great night, and we'll see you guys uh, next week. Call your mom if you haven't yet already. Uh, it's Mother's Day. All right.